Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of Star Trek Adventures set in The Expanse, where we have a guest player today, uh, Sanbei, bringing, uh, taking the role of Commander Liam Helsing. Uh, anyone more interested in Mr. Liam Helsing can go back and watch all of my episodes to, of the USS Nighthawk to find out why he is the way he is. But, uh, I believe that... He, to start us off, I believe that he has the log. That I do. Uh, Captain's log, start eight, eight four nine four four point four. Black Shield successfully arrived at Starbase Deep Space 15, better known as Cerebus Station, via Starfleet's experimental transwarp gateway. It was a bumpy ride, but nothing the medical and engineering staff can't fix. We're here, we were here under Admiral Tom Riker's orders to rescue the Federation ambas ambassadorial team and Starfleet officers currently taken by the Vatars terrorists who call themselves the OVA. The timing couldn't be worse. Due to the rapid redeployment, I had to leave Alpha team in the Alpha Quadrant as they wrap up another operation. Admiral Riker has authorized me to form a replacement team out of local personnel that have the necessary knowledge of the area. Just have to read them in on the op and have them sign the requisite non-disclosure agreements. Always have to have the paperwork. This OVA group came out of nowhere. To make sure things don't get worse, we're ordered to, inf we're, we're ordered to not, we're ordered to influence the Vatars conflict as little as possible. Orders are straightforward for a direct op action op. Starfleet Intel wants the terrorist known as Kager and as many of his associates as possible taken alive for prosecution. Lethal force is authorized if no other option is available. Personal note, it would be good to see Commander, I mean, Captain Bashir again. It's been too long. I'm glad he got to command a ship that has the mission that fits his dream. In log. Oh, <laughs> War that leaves me all warm and fuzzy. I am. Okay, so we are going to start on the bridge, where this takes place shortly, ah, about five, ten minutes after uh, Mr. Helsing has revealed himself. Um, and we find everyone, more or less, on the bridge. Or wherever they want to be at the moment. Uh, as the other ships begin to move off to see to the repair of the uh, damaged catapult th or ga catapult beta 3 uh, Captain Bashir you come on the bridge with uh, Commander Liam Helsing looking real spiffy in his uh, Starfleet intelligence duds uh, tell you Captain this is quite a ship it is. It's been an honor to captain her. He's, Togi's still part of the crew? That's awesome. Togi was. Uh, he's left us. He has become one with uh, Togalau and is growing his own garden. So you have another Togalau on board? I do. Oh, wow. A fascinating concept. She's Hello. Not... Meet Primrose. She has has a much different origin story, but we don't have time for that now. Would you like to meet in our uh, conference room? Get down to it. it that would be best. All right. Hedrix, Moose, Reinhardt, Floriza, with me. One whoosh of uh, the. Oh, go, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say he didn't say my name. This so is like, yeah, you can sit in the chair. <laughs> uh, he just looks to more for a second, like I think he meant you. But okay, come on. <laughs> uh, oops, I copied and pasted the wrong token. Let's. Uh, we don't need two captains. One is enough. There we go. Senior staff is assembled. Cloning experiment has worked perfectly. <laughs> no, that's the Vatars thing. 
I forgot about that side deal I made with the Emperor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Commander Helsing, you have the table. All right, Helsing pulls something off of his belt, sets, set it on the table, push some buttons, and this weird light show goes around, uh, set, setting up a field so to make sure that no outside listening devices can pick this up. Well, I shot a look at Hadrix and like just smile. <laughs> <laughs> we got to keep this one definitely on the uh, on the need to know and the OVA that's why I'm here the ambassadorial team and the Starfleet officers that they kidnapped and Holden, and Holden we're here to get them back Normally, I'd have my own team that would do this, but in the rush to get out here, they were on another operation and we had to leave them behind. So I need to form one from from what we have at hand here. So, Captain, I'll leave that to you for what we need to get in, but um, we'll outfit them as best we can from equipment that we have on the black on the black shield. And we'll have to read them in on the operation more in detail after that. So go over your plan with me. How are we going to do this? Well, part of it is for me to get in information from y'all, whatever you have on um, the OVA, where they could be held in, in that. That's the one gap in the plan. Once we have that, we can start trying to figure a way to get in and capture as many of the terrorists, specifically Kager, their leader, and get the, the hostages out. I personally went to the Imperium and um, didn't get a lot of information, but the attacks mainly focused uh, entirely on their data system and has jumbled up most of their uh, clones of uh, the data processing and their computer systems. The actual cloning facilities themselves uh, were taken out, but the damage was mainly they don't have backups anymore. Um, at the end, um, the Emperor did give me a little information on a bartender um, on a nearby moon that uh, I can uh, we can make contact with and get more information on the um, OVA and where their base may be. Um, it was an illegal weapon smuggling uh, syndicate, basically, um, supplying the OVA. Okay, that'd be awesome, but do you think... I just remember the last time you went undercover at a bar. Yep, 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 well... Some things haven't changed. <laughs> so, first thing is getting a small team in to go check out that bar and find out more information. Get a better lead on where this, the some of the uh, hostages are. More your information. Did more has information? Yeah. If he's well, here. it came. Uh, it, uh, uh, the information that came from the Free State is that the, uh, specifically the um, terrorist attacks that are happening, they attacked the cloning facility and they uh, were setting up terror rings to attack the capital. Um, the information we got from the individual that we captured, uh, that was one of the terrorists thanks to uh, Demos from Cerberus uh, was that the uh, leader of the leader is not on a specific planet and that each individual cell does not know what another cell does. They are all controlled basically by a handler but kept in the dark from other people. 
their other cells so that if one gets captured uh, the other does they can't um, bring down other operations so only the handler knows where at least one other cell is yeah and the handler it's from the information we got is all on Kager it all comes from him he's not located on a specific planet he's just kind of out there but the point that he organizes several different cells to complete attacks at the same time it judging by the information we got and based off the kind of time line that we created the attack on the catapult and the attack on both of the cloning facilities happened mere moments from each other Agreed. We have the same information. This was a simultaneous attack on our station and on everything else. And talking to the prisoner from that uh, Commander Demos got a hold. <laughs> no, no idea of where the hostages were being held. No. The only the information that they completely they. Uh, repeated constantly as their mission was to uh, take out several of the like perimeter posts of the city but knew nothing about any other operation within the OVA. Dr. Feliza, have you heard anything on the reclamation of the uh, Borgified prisoner? Borgified? Uh, wait, Borga. Oh! Oh, that guy. I was like... Who out of character, I was like, who is he talking about? And then I was like, oh! Uh, I can't ask Sulkin right now, so I just wondered if you had any. Right, right. I was sitting there like, wait. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know, McCall, have I? <laughs> um, basically, um, he has been transferred back to Dr. Sulkin's care. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Demos is doing his best not to uh, make any official mentions of that in logs that Verity might... Um, you know, listen it on. Right, right. Okay. Um, they seem to be back in Dr. Sulkin's care at the station. Um, seem to be doing fine. No. Commander Hadrix, uh, anything else? I don't believe so. I think we had. I think that's pretty much everything that we've gotten detailed from our encounters with the Ove at this time. And we saw that you broke up and apprehended. No, I, they didn't give a lead on where their handler was. I guess, like we said, most of the individual groups are so in set with themselves. <coughs> we didn't get any further. Our only real outriding lead is the bar. Okay. That will be the first stop. Um, now, uh, I will butt in with one thing, sorry. Um, Thank you. <laughs> that, that was overlooked in the brief, is that Moore and uh, uh, not, uh, Dolrum uh, picked up that on the assault on the Dolive, the Free State's um, cloning facility, left behind a trail of uh, oh, heavy scary. radiation particles. And he might want to know something about the how they're moving around unseen. Just a thought. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, sir, one thing that we noted from uh, the scans that we took was that they seem to be using old Romulan cloaking devices. Um, the trace trails that we were able to find came along with that um, kind of older technology, um, and they are doing their best to keep themselves hidden. Uh, more information we got from the uh, Borgified terrorist, as the captain put it, um, is that the Ferengi here on the station or at least some Ferengi most likely the ones here on the station were the ones that sold it to him 
and it's very possible that they have transporter technology and weapons from other organizations. Because they use transporters to get our people off the station. Uh, okay. And that's not Batara's technology. No. Or at least that we know of. It wasn't a couple years ago, that's for sure. All right. Um, I guess we have a thunder run to make. To the bar. <laughs> it seems um, like it. it. Well, we'll need to get our team together. Um, Adrix, more. I want you with me. Um, doctor, if it's all right, we'll take Nix. Lieutenant Commander uh, Reinhardt, you have the command of the uh, <laughs> ship. Concordia. <laughs> Thank you. Brain dead there. Uh, um, I'm going to make uh, contact with Demos. Uh, it'd be nice to have not the most stealthiest individual, but it would be nice to have his uh, powers back up. Now, I'm just going to butt in slightly as GM. Um, if and just because I want to make the same choice available to uh, Shizno as everyone else, if whatever character Shizno wants to bring along can do so. That's fine. Oh, he already, okay. I think he already said Demos. Oh, that's why did? I said that. Oh, uh, that's, <laughs> I, obviously I'm a few minutes behind. I'm not paying attention. My apologies. Uh, I'll just butt out and continue to listen as you guys do the story. Sorry, I tried to get everybody who they were going to be at the beginning, so I Sorry. knew how to do it. I was not... <laughs> I have three screens and I am not paying attention apparently. So sorry, no, no, worries. no worries. No worries. My bad. My bad. Anyways, so Demos, cool. Uh, Captain Bashir, that's one thing I I should have stated as well. Um, we'll be leaving here on the Black Shield. We have the um, the active I camouflage assume. system. I assume. Be able to, and we're gonna have to bring whoever we're going to need with us. So, because we're not, no idea where the leads are going to be taking us. We not, might not be able to come back to uh, service station to do a crew swap. It would have been nicer to have the Nighthawk, but I think hey, we'll, uh, the we'll Black Shield, in. the Black Shield's a fine ship. A little bit smaller, but that's cozy. <laughs> cool. okay. All right. Anything else, anyone? No, sir. All right. Um, I do have one quick question. Um, yes, Doctor. Commander Helsing, do you have a capable doctor on board the Black Shield? In case there are injured personnel, I would like to be able to help you tend to them should it need be necessary. I won't turn down additional medical help. Okay. Um, Captain, with your permission, I would like to go on this mission with the Black Shield. Absolutely, Doctor. Okay. Uh, so if I have all the tokens right, it's Captain Bashir, Commander Hadrix, Lieutenant Moore, Demos, and Lieutenant Nix. Sounds. And of course, yeah, Feliza uh, standing Demos by. And... Uh, Demos and Midas. Uh, where is Midas? I don't think I brought his token over. That's why I haven't found him. <gasps> Oh, I'm so. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Yeah, I can load up. I can load up the other game in another uh, tab. Yeah, just to look at the stats and copy over. Sure. Okay, so uh, one transporter um, seen later. You guys find yourself on the shield of the black shield, or the bridge of the black shield. Uh, so the black shield is a defiant-sized ship. Um, rough. It currently has approximately 20 people on board. Uh, typical capacity is about 26, but as Helsing said, he had to leave some of his uh, team behind. So at least you guys have uh, bunk space. I'm not entirely sure any of their beds would fit Demos. Um, that might get creative. We'll just pet the plug in I... somewhere. 
I would like to say, if you'll allow me having two carriers, I'd also like to bring along Nia, if I can. Um, I'd rather it just be one per player for the actual assault, but if you want to, you know, keep people on the mm. ship for roleplay reasons. Okay. Then, yeah. I'm actually surprised someone's bringing Nyx along, but cool. Deelos ever so slightly raises an eyebrow as he looks around at the, st at the crew. And then he looks at the captain. He's like, mm-hmm. They all look at. They all uh, stare at you as uh, Captain Bashir. You do re recognize uh, Lieutenant Loxley Abrell, uh, former tactical officer from the USS Nighthawk, is now tactical officer of this ship. Nice. And she smiles as you walk in. The rest of the faces are new. Can I keep uh, Doctor Feliza away from the Beverly Crusher looking? <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> I do believe that he's married. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, but but right. to, but the Nobulans, we can have we can have multiple spouses. Yeah, I think Risens are pretty open to the concept as well. So yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, so you do you. Well, or at least well. do them <laughs> on uh there on uh, Starfleet time. You have a mission to <laughs> accomplish. Uh, so. As uh, Commander, Hels Commander Helsing, as you give the brief tour, uh, you guys get a communication from the station, and it is Admiral Riker. Uh, as soon as I find Riker's token. There it is. It's the telephone screen. Hi, sir. Captain. Uh, Admiral. Admiral. Good to see you. I I wish the circumstances were better, and I wish that you were here uh, under better circumstances and not just as a toy in my ever uh, in my ever present rivalry with my brother. But uh, update for you before you head out: a uh, the USS Layden had has picked or had picked up two probes launched at the. Beta 3 catapult at high warp. They were broadcasting them, uh, their, identifi their identifiers. They wanted to be found. Inside were two corpses. Starfleet officers. Find these. Personal. Find these bastards. Riker out. Sir? Mm. Admiral? Oh, well. I, I was the... hoping that when we bring them back, they'll be pizza ready. <laughs> Always about the pizza. You're welcome, everybody. Yeah. I'm the one who made that cannon in this universe. <laughs> you know, two Starfleet officers just died, and you want pizza. Uh... You know, when we bring the others back, we we got a we got a stress eat. You know. <laughs> uh, all right, I get it. <laughs> I totally do. We're here for fun. All right. Um, Instant Powell will see you all to your quarters, um, get settled, and we'll start heading out to the planet where the bar is. And... Tolox. And what was the name of that? Tolox. Um, you, uh, you would all, uh, Starfleet Intelligence as well as Federation Intelligence know that Star. Tolox is in Imperial held space, and it is the muster center for the bulk of the Vitar's fleet. So, you know, make whatever preparations you need. Tight black suits! <laughs> it's just set course to Tolox. Active camo once we get close enough. Hi, Captain. I, she... I suspected we're not going in and going down with our fancy Federation suits and comm badges. Oh, no. We got something special. Well, I managed to bring along some of my own equipment. I'll be wearing that. Oh. Uh, for the actual assault or for the bar mission? 
Yes. Roger that. I'm nine foot tall. I'm intimidating as hell. This yep. is going to add to the cool factor. <coughs> Please tell me you have black shades. <laughs> he's going to look to more, and he's just going to put a hand on his shoulder. That's a heavy hand. And he's like, anything goes sideways, get behind me and run. Noted. F. Hendrix looks over at the captain and is like, active camo shield? Like, mouthing those words to him. It's not cloaking technology, but I'll explain later. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. I imagine Demos just, his stealth is his intimidating the enemy so hard that they just ignore him. Like, he's not there, he's not there, he's not. If I don't look at him, he's not going to kill me. <laughs> Didn't know walls could move. Yep. <laughs> you see nothing. <laughs> uh. right, and um, Captain, we'll just we we can meet back um, in the uh, conference room. Say about thirty minutes for everybody to get settled. Hi, Commander. Team, get ready. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, it is at yes. least a full day's war travel at warp speed so it's not like you have to get dressed now but i appreciate the eagerness that's making sure that we find stuff that fits oh yes <laughs> yeah we have to have a, a fashion montage to try it on different outfits well <laughs> specialist fadat she'll be um the one she's our uh, clothing expert she's related to a another Taylor. Distantly. Kardashian. Kardashian. Distantly. Kardashian. Uh, and I'll look to, I'm assuming it's a uh, gray Fanat. Yep. And just mouth Deep Space Nine to them. Uh, she just. As like a question. <laughs> she rolls her eyes and responds and says nothing else. <laughs> that means yes. And it's like, and, and they just go, I'll take that as a yes. Technically, the leader are Cardassia right now, but you know. Yeah. Actually, I think he's, uh, if I recall right, he's retired from that position and living a happy life in retirement. I could be wrong. He's... I haven't checked my notes. Uh, then <laughs> I, I wonder if he's still keeping Bashir in a little coffin and hiding it upstairs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, no, that was seriously in the books. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my train of thought now. <laughs> and good Lord, man, breathe. Oh man, I think we killed more. <laughs> yeah, that was McCall. <laughs> oh, that was McCall. We killed the GM. No. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, we killed. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Wait. Are you okay? Sorry, I muted myself on stream, but not the Discord channel. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Okay. I inhaled. You're good. <clears throat> Ah, uh, okay. This is not a sponsored stream, but if you drink Diet Pepsi, it might kill you. <laughs> That's why you have to drink regular Pepsi. Okay. Amen. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, your mistake is you're drinking Pepsi. Coca-Cola, baby. Oh. Uh, RC. All the way, RC. <laughs> okay, we we won't have that debate tonight. Okay, the Cola Wars can wait until, a, you know, another timeline. <laughs> until halftime. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Go ahead. Demos is, Demos is just going to look around at everyone like, where is your armory? And do you have a shooting range? Uh, uh, Becca, or Lieutenant Graham pipes up. Uh, you'll, you'll find uh, auxiliary armories on every deck. Main armory, deck three, section four. We've, when, it, when it's empty enough, Cargo Bay 1 can be repositioned, can be redone as a shooting range. Just don't shoot any of the red barrels. Understood. Thank you. I see. And, uh, Commander, I would believe uh, neutral colors would be something that would be worn during this operation. Uh, for the bar missions, uh, Specialist Fadat will try to outfit you with um, local nondescript attire. local attire, you know, uh, space merchant type attire that you'd be seeing out in this area. 
when we go in for the actual assault, we'll be going in um, sterile uniforms, something not tied to Starfleet, all black, face shields, whole nine yards. The only person who might have a hard time fitting would be Commander Demos, but we can always replicate a uh, couple cans of black spray paint. I, <laughs> I, it's okay. I, oh, that's awesome. Um, my armor yeah. has nanopolymer paint on it. it <laughs> and I wish it. Uh, Dr. Freeza. Yes. Have you ever had any experience with uh, plastic surgery or anything like that? Um, not really. What are you asking of me, Captain? Well, last time we went on a mission on in Vitaris space, we changed our characteristics to look the TARS. I could rearrange your face if you like. Will that be necessary? <laughs> Will that be necessary at least for the bar part of this operation, Commander? Turning to Helsing. Now, I'm going to butt in here real quick with an added mechanic of you being on a Starfleet intelligence vessel, is that I will assume that there are specialists on board who will be able to deal with most intelligence-related stuff. Uh, so if you just want to do a test with, like, a crew roll, um, I'm just going to treat it as rolling a, under a 14 will be a success. Or if you want to just spend two advantage, or, or not advantage, two momentum or two threat to create the advantage, that'll just that can just happen. Okay. Well, we're planning the mission before we're sitting down planning the mission. So let's get ready. Uh, everybody eat, relax, and get yourselves mentally prepared. We'll meet at the conference room in a few hours. Sounds good, Captain. All right, dismissed. I'm going to see what sort of personal weapons we have in this area and see if we can replicate it. All right. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Lieutenant D Commander Demos, you are probably the first to discover the TR-125 solid shot rifle with the transporter... Micro, with the micro transporter barrel enhancement. Uh, there is the handout, of course, that has the Starfleet Intelligence equipment list. That has all the cool toys you could pick if you wanted to. Mm, yes, I see. Mm. Other... I might be giving you plenty of threat. <laughs> <laughs> I like threat. Uh, the rest of you are quickly outfitted with species and draw or casual wear. Uh, indicative of Vitar's citizenry. Uh, if you want to have your faces rearranged, that could either be done through spe giving me momentum, which you don't have any right now, or giving me threat, or we could just have the medical officer do a test. Demos can as well. His uh, hand strength can really crush some bones and rearrange around your jaw structures. Yeah, oh, jeez. They want uh, what, reverted back. What would the, what would the <laughs> test be for me for uh, for the facial reconstruction? I assume it's like control yeah. medicine or something. Yeah, it's a control medicine. It, it would be a difficulty of three. Okay. Um, it's not plastic surgery, <laughs> but surgery is a focus? Mm, no, this would be more um, plastic surgery. Boo, yeah. or Anyways. cosmetic surgery. Yeah. Uh, the ship, uh, the USS Black Shield, can assist with its. Uh, uh, let's do computers plus medicine. Okay, yeah. I got the Black Shield up. All right. Okay, in that case, um... uh, can can I uh, can I boss a random crewman in the medical? Uh, department of the ship to assist me? Uh, they will ask for Helsing's uh, orders to assist first. You can, you can, you can have my uh, chief medical will help you out as well. Okay. They're, they're used to doing this type of stuff. Excellent. Alright. Um, 
the chief medical officer. Uh, I will, I'll roll for her. So, or one d twenty to assist. And who who is the chief medical? Um, oh, phooey, I had a list of names. Where the heck did I put them? Um, Good lord, this is the first time rolled double zeros with this guy. Christ. <laughs> Ah, uh, her name is uh, her name is Michelle Yates. Maybe, Doctor Felisa, you should assist the professional. I mean, uh, <laughs> you get the nastiest stink eye from them. Uh, so, Captain Bashir, you are the first to volunteer for this. Uh, you stand up. You look at yourself in the mirror. And the bony ridges where your eyebrows, where the Vitaris eyebrows should be, literally fall off. <laughs> and you can see the uh, the dye used for your skin is literally running as if you were, you know, in the rain or had cheap uh, hair dye. I would like to say, just, oh, sorry, go ahead. And one of his antenna pops up. No, I was going to say, I'm really glad he didn't get at a disadvantage and my antenna just fall off. <laughs> if there was a complex if there was a complication, complication. Yes, but... it wouldn't be the first time yeah <laughs> we don't talk about that <laughs> <laughs> well so we'll go ahead and have um, Dr. Yates do the lead and Okay. And uh, Dr. Feliza, do the assist? Sure. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll show you how it's done, sir. Mumble, crumble, mumble, crumble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. Loving it, loving it. I keep on loving it. Uh, let's see. So, let's see what Yates rolls. Uh, she has one success. Uh, so, Doctor Feliza, you you need well, okay. okay. The Black Shield got the crit. Well, this so. is just, this is just to get us more momentum at this point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, huzzah! You momentum. got a momentum. You get one momentum. Congratulations. Okay. See, Doctor Feliza, it's not really that much difficult than a normal procedure. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit of artistry goes in it, though. There I kind of want to do a roll. Sure. What do you want to roll as? Uh, control engineering. I'm doing some modifications to myself oh, visually. Okay. Sure. Um, in what fashion? Uh, cosmetic, okay. mostly. Um, I'm going to call this a zero task just to get you guys some more momentum. And, and if, I got my, little if you want Midas, Midas to helping. assist, sure. Yeah. And that and, is uh, one success for you. Um, I'm not sure if you saw on Discord, but I'm actually I don't see the Cerberus game anymore in my list. Oh, that's odd. So I don't have Midas. Okay. Um, let's just. Roll 1d20. I'm pretty sure that's not a success for Midas. No. Midas is far more interested with the new environment that he's in <laughs> instead of, you know, helping you out. Or he's horrified that I'm defacing myself. <laughs> Whichever. Whichever you want to go with. <laughs> so call me, so call me. Um, let me... All right. Anybody have anything else they want to do while they are... Uh, prepping? Um, for, I just want to give myself some, uh, flavor for the outfit that I'm wearing, mm -hmm. basically. Um, do you know the outfit that, uh, Dan Levy wore at the Emmys this year? I'm afraid oh. not. I don't keep up much with that sort of stuff. Fair enough. I'll just post a gif of it. It basically, it's just like a suit that sort of opens up into a skirt on the way down. Ooh, classy. Breezy. Oh, Not... yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll put... Hold on. I'll post a gif of it in here. Okay. 
Well, kind of like that. Cool. Well, well obviously, a little, probably a little less uh, nice looking, just to blend like in a little more. It looks like he's wearing a kilt. Yeah. But I like the outfit, so something <laughs> akin to what Portlees is wearing. I mean, why not? It's a fashion-forward place. And they'll sort of, you know, let their hair down. Yes. There we go. Midas is a... Th Midas is imported. You should see Midas now as a character sheet. Uh, Demos. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Hadrix, anything for you? I'd probably be down just doing some target practice because, you know, a little rusty, but I'm a pretty decent shot. I was thinking the exact same thing for more. Okay. So, Hadrix, Moore, and eventually Demos walks in. And how does Demos walk? What does Demos look like now? Uh, he just has a few extra components added to his head. Nothing's attached to them, though, at the moment. So he looks pretty much the same for now, but he just has like a few extra connection points. Uh, his eyes, though, and the uh, light in his mouth are changed to green, though, for now. Hmm. Is that like Clark Kent, Clark Kent wearing glasses and Superman not having glasses? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> You're telling me Superman and Clark Kent are the same? That's that's lies. <laughs> Uh, just saying I've heard it. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Midas has the same little indents on him too now. But uh, that's, that's the only thing for now. It's like he's just waiting for us to get to the bar. Yeah. Now, are the Exos more known in this area of the Expanse? No. Um, Demo... Now, there was a brief encounter with the exospecies, roughly. Uh, it would have been during. It would have been after Nighthawk had went back to the Alpha Quadrant, if I recall right. Right. So they're not native to this area of space, nor of this galaxy, nor this universe, really. Um, obviously, Starfleet Intelligence has files on Demos and what little they know of the exo, but not a heck of a lot. Engineering core is drooling when they see those files. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <clears throat> Needless to say, Demos attracts stares wherever he goes. Uh, so, more. I have a quick question for you. Are you using the phaser or the whip? Uh, phaser for now. Okay. Just had to ask based on your previous combat performance. <laughs> That's fair. Phaser for now. But I, I might have replicated something like a whip that I could use. Just because I may have misheard. Uh, we're still doing like, we're still traveling, right? Or yeah. are we there? You're still at warp. It'll take a day. Okay. At, it'll take a day at warp speed to get there. So Okay. So everyone's looking different so early. <laughs> we're just getting prepped. Has Legos been helping you with the whip? <laughs> we do not bring Legos with us, Captain. Um, he's been he's been showing me how to use some things. I've been showing him how to do some things. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Gentlemen, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sure you're finding your equipment and your time here productive. Rehoning things. Mm. Have you ever been on a mission like this before? Nope. Well, everything you learned at Starfleet, you're going to have to forget a chunk of it. Probably a good chunk of it. You're going to be playing a character that uh, might have to kill someone. And you're going to have to square that away when you do. Well, I'm hoping that isn't the case, but it's good to know. If it comes to it, I'll be the one to do it. <laughs> Don't have any issues with it. Well, I do, but I know how to live with it. 
but the first and foremost goal is to get everyone out alive and with a, as little and few mental scars as possible. So noted. Hopefully, this will be a relatively quick and easy mission. Hopefully. I found out two things in this universe. Either people will back down when they see me, or they'll try and challenge me. Unfortunately, no one's managed to well pass that challenge. Mr. Demos, I'm certainly glad you're on our side. Hmm. And to think I used to be an engineer aboard my ship. Hey, we've all we all seem to end up doing things that we weren't necessarily meant to do. Spice of life, as it were. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> oh, and when we get down to the planet there, don't refer to me as Demos. Tartarus will be the name I'll be going by. Tartarus will do. Midas just floats in and he's like, I recommended MD-13, but he did not like the MD being abbreviation for murder drone. And just floats away. <laughs> okay, that, that's actually not just me. That's Ad that's Adric's actually laughing, giggling about that. More just takes a moment to like process the information. Go I wouldn't want that either. Midas just keeps floating around. <laughs> So, gentlemen, you want to get some more target, some group tacticals in before we get there? Sure, why not? One of the tactics I like to use is I'm the wall, you stay behind me, I take the shots. But, yeah, we can work on other plans, too. I mean, if you are the wall, though, we can still shoot from behind the wall. True. Just don't shoot me. I've had that happen a couple of times. I will Thus try why... not to, but I don't guarantee anything. <laughs> Thus why the tactics. <laughs> okay. Because um, least... running a drill or two wouldn't be a bad idea. Cool. Uh, tell you what, Hadrix. Um, do a... Uh, Con plus security, please. With difficulty two, just to see how well the tactics roll out. And by con, you mean control security? Uh, control security, yes. No, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, that was weird. Um, run a insight security. <clears throat> and how about combat tactics as a focus? Perfect. Guess what? You didn't realize your <laughs> commander was also a security officer. Well, it's been a while since you've led a combat team, apparently. Uh, it's, Only a little. Yeah. Let's just say that you're ta you may need to refine your tactics later on. But at least you're gaining an understanding of things. Uh, that anyway, sounds good. Uh, anyways, uh, Captain Bashir, you're in sick bay. And after the first failed attempt, this time your antenna are staying back, you have no hair, and you look like an actual Vitaris individual. And Helsing will walk, walk in. Ah, uh, that's looking a lot better. Um, can be sure we'll have, we're, we're coming closer to um, the system for the mission going in for the bar gathering intel. Have just have your team go down, gather the information. We'll talk about exfil as we get closer, but we'll I'll stay up here on the ship and make sure we stay hidden so we can support you from here.
I hope it was the yeah. Captain AFK. Yeah. Captain, you might be muted. All right. <laughs> I'd say, all right, Commander, it's your mission. And that way, if things do go to hell in a handbasket, I can bring a second team down. All right, because we'll all be dead, and you'll have to have a second team. <laughs> well, let's deploy you back out. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> you, uh, you receive our Commander, um, ah, Commander Helsing, you receive a communication from Ensign Talith. Or, sorry, Ensign Chiss is the navigator. Sir, we are dropping out. We are entering the syst the Tolok system at maximum ra ma ah, at its maximum uh, sensor range. All right, active camo activated. Yes, please. So, um, if is this you black alert. Yeah. Yes, yes it's black, black alert. alert. Not sport um, black alert. Just you know. Is there still time to do some tinkering? Uh, yeah, you have a day. All right. I want to modify my uh, my shield spikes to work a little differently. Okay. Uh, in what way? You play Overwatch? I, I'm familiar with it, but I've never played it. There's a character called Reinhardt. Nah, yeah, moves. Yeah. Um, but he <laughs> has a deployable shield that's attached to his arm that he can use to walk forward and absorb nice. some hits. Ah, yes. Okay. So I want to do something like that. Uh, so if we get into a firefight, I can be used literally as cover. Okay. Uh, omnidirectional shield, if possible. Uh, tell you what, um, a, a standard um, arm-mounted bulwark type shield would be a control engineering difficulty two. If you want omni, that will be difficulty of three. Who will do it? <laughs> uh, so daring engineering. Um, control, you have time. Okay. Yeah. Control engineering. Midas can assist you, or Nyx, if you want Nyx to assist. I don't think uh, she has oh, exo engineering, but... Midas' sheet's completely blank. Is it? Yep. Um, well, that's weird. Um, something didn't transfer over right. Dang. Um, I will worry... If... I'll worry about that later. I'll just roll for him. Um, yeah, because he will have focus for exo engineering. So, well, well I'll uh, have him help. Yeah, that's some help. Oh, that's a complication for Midas. But let's see what you oh. roll. All right. Uh, and hey, I have a focus of end uh, force fields. Perfect. And I'm gonna take a momentum for a third dice. Sure. Now, question: I can also I don't get any milestones as demos, do I? Or is um, that like my own total pool? If um, I gave your, if you had an arc, all right. Well, bah, let me start again. Uh, at the beginning of this, I gave your main character, your characters, an arc just to reflect the amount of time they've had between the last time we saw them with the Cerberus game and now. So if you haven't mm. spent them, if you haven't spent that, then you have an arc. Oh, no, I'm talking about just a milestone, oh, though. Oh, oh. Like, Boos has three. Yeah. Is that my pool That's to use pool. on either character? You can okay. use on either if you want. All right. Um, I want to pop a milestone, then. Okay. As a determination. Sure. Uh, do, 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 I'm a multi-purpose tool. Use me. Okay. So that's for the uh, two auto successes. All right. Yes. So that is three successes in total. Good thing you spent that uh, determination. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you have a force field. Um, I believe it was a force field of. Do we? I we I know we talked about this, but it has something like ten or eight. Uh, the shield the shield spikes had health of fifteen. Ah, okay. But I'm I'm happy to reduce it because yeah. fifteen to get through is pretty beefy yeah so let's uh say with uh your shield of omni uh let's bu let's bump that down to four just because you've had to modify it for your own personal frame and power all right okay last Excellent. call for any other pre-bar mission stuff 
Nope. Going twice. No. Alcohol oh, inhibitors. <laughs> I guess Demos would spend the shop in a fabrication bay if there was one. Just doing things. Not really on a defiant sized ship. Uh, best space you have is the uh, shuttle pod launch area. <laughs> You'll make it work. Yep. So you exit yourself at the extreme edge of the Tolox system. A fairly boring system all, all things considered it's a red dwarf star and a couple mercury class planets orbiting close and a, um, a super and a gas giant roughly the size of saturn in the extremis uh, however it's not long before your the ship's iff sensors go absolutely haywire with the amount of ship signatures uh, you count no less than six large um, dry dock facilities, uh, several large carriers, no less than 20 smaller cruisers and destroyer sized ships, and any number of small craft buzzing around. All right. And the actual bar we have to go on is on one of the um, space docks on the planet itself. Uh, it's one of the space docks. Okay. Captain Bashir, your team ready? Uh, Bashir, you might be muted again. I should. Err, okay. <laughs> what does your, your shuttle look like? Is it a standard, like, Starfleet shuttle? It's a Type XX. Okay. Um, cause yeah, we'll take that in, um, and doc, cause didn't he give me like, cause I remember asking him specifically about like us coming to their docking bay and he says that they wouldn't give us any problem. <laughs> yeah, you can try. Um, uh, the bartender's name is Jaren, by the way, uh, as a okay. reminder. And also commander, uh, Helsing, you have advanced transporters. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, just, that would make it a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Just as a you know, yeah. recommendation. Oh, just get us through the shields, yes. if need be. And long range. So um, we can still beam on board the station. Right. Right. And I was I was worried about getting there without you breaking your cloak. <laughs> That's what I was trying to. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so we can do it from long range. And now are the... Space socks shielded, or they are yes. Okay, so that means we're gonna have to get in a little bit closer to use the advanced transporters. Mm -hmm, just a bit. Uh, so if someone wants to roll the USS Blackhawk uh, for their black alert test, we are looking for a, I believe it's control plus engineering. And... So that'd be the lead engineer, whoever that would yeah. be on the Black Hawk, on the Black Shield. Uh, yes. Uh... Nia or another person? Uh, no, that's uh. That'll be somebody else. Yeah. Uh, her name is uh, her name is Mitsu Yang. Now Nia could watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sit in chair. <laughs> Maybe assist. Inspire a lot where she feels a lot more confident. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised Nia's not like checking out this uh, whole like uh, shielding process and like getting information. Uh, so, <laughs> it um, totally is, but you know. <laughs> Mitsu does well, and so does the Black Shield. So, your active camouflage is working actually very well. Any momentum? I believe it was a difficulty three test, so no. Okay. Difficult to. Difficult. Okay, so one momentum. I stand corrected. Glad someone's reading the, the sheet because I'm not. <laughs> I just have it up. Mm -hmm. Um, Commander Hadricks, pull him off to the side a little bit. Um, yes, Commander. Keep an eye on the captain, and especially if there's any Orions nearby. Him and Orions at bars don't tend to go well. Didn't know that, but I'll take that under advisement. Thank you. 
Um, one last word before you all get ready to transport down. In case of, we'll have you on active comms. If you do have to, if things do go south, disengage, ideally around a corner, and we'll transport you out of out of there. Get to a spot where you won't be seen transporting. What's our code? You can come up with a safe word. <laughs> I propose shit, 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 get us out of here now. <laughs> well, Commander Bush, oh, I swear he uses that a lot. <laughs> Samurai. So, so it works. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Okay. <laughs> so, in the essence of just... I remember what that Orion's name was, I would say that, but I, I, I don't... <laughs> His name is Jack. Was it Jack? Okay. Well, that was the big, oh. that was the Incredible Hulk one. Not yeah. the one that... Oh, that's oh, right. We're yeah. looking for the one sure that... Sure got to know. Yeah. Not that, yeah. I forget that. Remember guy. I had my, my jaw hurt for a week? Yeah. <laughs> that was a thing. Let's not go back to that. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've tried to erase it from my memory, too. Mm -hmm. Anyways. So, one scene later... Uh, so is everyone going to the bar? Oh yes. yes. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. See. So we are going to get all the tokens from here. Why did I spread them out? That makes them far harder to get. And that will bring us all down to here. So when uh, Demos goes and gets ready. When he comes into the transporter room, he looks completely different. The black is now turned like a off-white. Uh, the red is a dark kind of scratched up uh, paint green. He has the antennas on the side of his heads are gone. Instead, he has what looks like rusted spikes and nails going down the center of his head like a mohawk. And um, his left eye flickers every now and then. <laughs> and he is in this big armor, looks like it's all hodgepodge with like plating strapped to it. it like, well, well, you seem to uh, clean up nicely. Hmm. I hate doing this to the armor. <laughs> oh, and since I didn't mention the rest of you, Tartarus is the name right now. I see. Saint Demos is kind of a narrow thing if you go like, hey, we were attacked by a big robot named Demos. I wonder who that could be. All right. And Lieutenant Commander, can we not Borgify anyone while we're here? No guarantees. <laughs> and also, let's make sure to drop all rank when we're talking to each other. Um, and I want an out of character question real quick. Yeah. Uh, we're, are we supposed to mention the OVA while we're here? Or are we just trying to find out information about them by just sort of listening around? Well, well, yeah. well technically, all we know is about a weapons deal. And we are going undercover. As you say, I would particularly not want to bring that up blatantly. Okay. I'd like to at least go in and like possibly try to figure out where the weapons are coming from and where they're going. So my logic would be we're going in to go buy weapons is would be the logical point of this. Gotcha. And then anything that can be tied to um, Jagger, Jagger, Dagger, Cager, Cager, Cager. Um, and the OVA and where the um, diplomats and Starfleet officers are being held. Okay. In casual conversation. Of course. Uh, casual conversation is what I'm good at, Commander. Huh. <laughs> this is... 
the station is definitely a rundown, barely functioning kind of thing. Um, if you guys remember what Terok Nor sort of looked like when the Cardassians owned it, you know, lots of grays, blacks, neon lighting, uh, stark contrast, that sort of stuff. That's pretty much the environment here. Everybody knows that they're here to work on the ships, and that's pretty much it. So it's a Star Wars bar. And now there's a Twitch DMCA. And so thanks. And we just violated TOS. <laughs> no, no, it would have to be a, actually a recognizable song. And <laughs> your song was not, was not recognizable. We, we just butcher it enough, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh. There's a significant number of Vitars around, but they don't seem to be paying you much heed. Uh, everyone out and about is wearing anything from military wear or military gear to the Vitars equivalent of a wife beater and cargo shorts. Nice. Yeah, nice. It's, it's not a... It's a very casual environment. Uh, loud off so, so I probably stick out sort of like a sort of thumb with my outfit, but it's pretty fine. Pretty much. You get the odd side eye. Um, mo many of the uh, female, some of the female Vitars and some of the males look at you with a bit of a side eye, probing, a probing glance here and there. Whether or not you choose to take them up on their glance is up to you. Uh, Demos, okay. or sorry, Tartarus gathers the most interest, of course. Um, anyone within earshot uh, of people wandering past wonder why they have brought a uh, they seem to believe that you are a uh, that you, construction bot? Uh, no, <laughs> that he represents a war bot from a recent series of uh, action movies or what, action films <laughs> It's not a 100% accuracy, and some of the uh, and some of the Vitars just side eye and just say that they got the paint scheme all wrong, and several of the horns are not quite accurate. But good attempt. <laughs> so they think Demos is cosplaying. This Playing. makes me so happy. <laughs> I blend in. <laughs> Stealth <laughs> through intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like stealth through um actually right now. <laughs> uh, so uh, over the loudspeakers is a constant blare of station announcements and coming over the horribly out of tuned uh, loudspeakers and crappy heavy techno music being pumped out of various uh, entertainment establishments. Any idea what kind of money they use? I would assume that you've been given a decent amount of local currency. Okay. I think. <laughs> That's... No, that was the that was the Orion. Um... Yeah, we did have Orion. Yeah, coins. you had Orion so currency. I assume that you have enough to, you know, get decent Paint quality on. stuff. Okay. Yeah, we've had enough contact with them. I would think. Yeah, we'd have to know their finances. I would, think, I would assume I don't want to pull out some gold press latinum or something or put it on my Starfleet credit card. <laughs> if it's on credit. Mm -hmm. You find the bar that was mentioned, a dirty, uh, a dirty place that has a, well, it's not the most degenerate form of entertainment you've seen on the station. It's probably not even close to what is on the station, but it's pretty lewd. And you see an individual who, or you see an individual mopping, or wiping down the bar, the bar top with a rag that is as dirty, if not dirtier, than the bar top itself, leaving greasy smears around. Doesn't seem to really bother anyone actually sitting or being passed out at the bar itself. I'm sure the glasses that we see probably look like shit too, right? 
don't bring a black light here. That's all I got to say. <laughs> oh, it'll, be, oh, it'll be like a Jackson yeah. Pollock painting. Yeah. I, oh, you guys joke about that, but I have enhanced vision. I see it all. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I oh, no, my tokens best. disappeared. Yeah, I Where'd forgot. Go? Where, uh, for Lisa staying on the ship, it's Nyx that, you're, that you wanted to bring along, right? No, I, w I was talking about Nia. Oh, you wanted Nia. I heard Nyx. I yeah. don't know why I heard Nyx. Uh, the captain said Nyx for some uh. reason. Because I said I I meant Nia. That was my, my fault. Bad. I am sorry. Uh, let's no, get the right fault. tokens out here. Um, where is Nia? There's Jeremy. Well, well, damn! I got Ferliz all dressed up for nothing now. <laughs> okay, now Nia's just looking, you know, right dapper. Never mind. I apologize. I'm. Losing You're good. I'm. I'm losing the plot, and I'm the one supposed to be running this. Anyways. So you walk into a so uh, <laughs> five Starfleet officers pretending not to be Starfleet officers walk into a bar. <laughs> All right, we'll take a seat at the. Well, we'll take. Is there an open table? Uh, I will say yes. It is in a dingy corner. Uh, that as soon as you guys make way towards it, you notice the scuttling of several small insects as they uh, attempt no. to <laughs> scamper out of the way. Excellent. Yep, you are appetizers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll go up to the bar. Okay. Round of drinks for my friends. He looks up. Looks down at the bar. Taps it a couple times. You know the little... I'll pull, out, yeah. I'll pull out Norm or whatever would cover, you know, five drinks. Uh, he looks at it. Hmm. You're paying good wages. Well, for that, and he reaches under the desk, or under the counter, I'll be nice and say that the first round gets clean glasses. <laughs> oh. uh, he round, uh, he pulls out his, um, uh, he pulls out his uh, serving gun and begins to dispense several uh, thick, gooey beverages. Uh, it's probably like, it would probably be the consistency of like thick root beer. Uh, I'm thinking Kinar. It, it's um, it bubbles a, as soon as he uh stops the um, I forget I forget what the beer gun is called, but you know that serving gun. Well, just call it the serving gun. Uh, he taps and moves on in uh, methodical precision. He's done this several hundred thousand times. Uh, the bubbles keep rising just to the top and then bubble right back down, leaving a. Uh, mild, leaves just the perfect amount of head. And before passing the the glasses to you, he reaches out and scoops the money under the into his hand, pushes the glasses your way. All right, I will put a little bit more for a tip and grab the glasses thing and take you're, them over to, back to the table. Uh, as you do so, you turn your back. He just asks, "You're new here, aren't you?" Yeah, first time we've been around here. He nods to the cosplaying robot. I can tell this isn't a comic convention. And as much as I appreciate it, most people here, or most Vitars here, don't get paid enough to tip. Fair enough. I will take the drinks back to the table. And then go back to the bar with my mug and sit down at the bar. While you're doing this, are there other people in the bar? Uh, several. It's a pretty. It's got the energy of a 2 a.m. shift bar. Uh, so despite performers putting on a show, most individuals are either there with one or two friends, just not saying a heck of a lot. Or drinking solo, far more interested in the contents of their cup than whoever is sitting next to them. Fair. Do I pick up on any conversation? Being as I have linguistics as a focus, um, am I picking up on anything that would be useful? Roll me an insight plus con or, or command, whichever one you want. 
I'm going to do command because okay. it's at least one higher. Uh, linguistics would work as a focus. Okay, okay. And this is going to be a difficulty of two. I'm going to use a momentum for a third die. Okay. Three successes. Okay. Nice. I so get you, momentum back. you get that momentum right back. Uh, so the funny thing with the Universal Translator is is that it does a very good job at doing you know uh, language you know very good at translating languages. Unless uh, it's Klingon. <laughs> uh, I like to think that the Universal uh, let Translator just self censors itself for Klingon, but that's my own head canon. Um, but it, what it's not, or what the uh, Universal Translator isn't good at is picking up subtext. Uh, that can only really be gotten from those fluent in the native languages. Which, Moore, you happen to know a lot of. Uh, so, uh, what you're picking up is, a, there is, you know, how people like to complain about their job. Um, there are, indiv like, people are, of course, complaining about their job. That is pretty much standard for an industrial site. But what these, what some people are talking about in hushed tones might come down to mutiny. Uh, it seems that um, man, the, the, the boss, the, the Adrax, the admirals, are still insisting that this war be fought, despite the fact that the, in, that the soldiers cannot actually be re, reborn thanks to the whole, uh, you know, loss of their cloning facilities. It seems if you have one life to live, you are far less willing to spend it carelessly. And that is what you're picking up here. I'm, you know, picking it up. I'm not, like, turning around to listen to it listen like directly to him but i'm picking it up and i have the you know a puzzling face on like the people around me can definitely tell that i'm thinking about things what seems to be troubling you there it's interesting when you're well versed in a language you pick up on a lot more things than what the translator will pick up on um just hearing the undertones of conversations there is a lot of people that hate their job rightfully so but there's a lot and i mean a lot of undertones coming from people in the bar that are the equivalent of mutiny for us they don't want to fight the fight now that they can't be reincarnated even though higher-ups are wanting to continue to fight which could be fuel for the ova resistance movement whatever we want to call it if there's only one life to live why waste it that's kind of the whole point of their movement hmm. interesting very and I'm going to spend some threat to create a complication. Um, Moore, as you're busy talking about this, uh, two Vitaris women who are dressed up in ways that, you know, make it very apparent that they are ladies of the night, approach the, uh, approach the five of you. Oh. Yes. Four. Uh, I'm with, I remember I went back oh, to the bar. You're uh, right. Sorry, you're sitting at the bar. I'll just move you over here. Uh, so the four of you are approached by ladies, two ladies of the night. Well, oh. hell, hello there, tall, bony, and shiny. They they uh, rub as they uh. Let me see. <laughs> Tartarus. Uh, Tartarus. Nope. There. Uh, one of them rubs uh, Commander Hadrix's uh terraformed head. 
terraformed. Well, dome formed, whatever. Because Vitars have no hair, therefore, mm -hmm. it's all about uh, scalp maintenance. It's like, so if Picard walked in, everybody would be, a, you know, immediately attracted to him for obvious reasons. But since Picard <laughs> isn't here, Hadricks, two of them are immediately stroking your the top of your head. So, are you interested in a scalp massage? And, at that stage, two big burly Vitars show up behind them and say, Hey, you don't want these losers. You want us. The two, the two girls turn around and say, ah, You two again. Absolutely not. We have dealt with you before. You ha still haven't paid. And quite frankly, the last time... My partner was in the sick, was in the infirmary for two days. Piss off. Oh. And they are getting real grumpy. And the two uh, Vitars are very adamant that they have their, they have their services instead of you losers. <laughs> um, I've been close to everyone. Oh, yes. I'm going to reach over and grab one of those guys' arms and start crushing it. Uh, daring plus security, please. You need uh, two successes. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna snag that momentum. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll give you a threat. Because okay. what I'm doing is pretty hostile. Okay. Um, Krav Maga? Um, if you're just doing a... Gr yeah, I'll let that go. Sure. <laughs> my luck. My luck. Yeah. These are good rolls for D&D. &D. Damn. You reach out to grab his hand, um, but he, he may be drunk, but he does notice the nine-foot-tall individual making a reach for him. Uh, he yanks his arm away, says, Oh, look, someone's trying to protect her. Isn't that nice? And he pulls out what looks like a crowbar and swings it at your head. Alright. So this is another attack that he's making against me? Uh, because... Yeah. Uh, so he's now making an attack against you. You need... Uh... So he has one success to hit. So you need at least one to defend against. Okay. Daring control. Uh, daring, daring security. security. And Krapaga. Easily. So, as he's swinging that crowbar type weapon at me, um, I'm just gonna like sidestep it, grab the back of his head, and then slam him against the bar. If there's a glass there, there's a glass there. <laughs> uh, roll me uh, your challenge dice, please. I think that. Oh. Oh, I forgot I have challenge dice to roll. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. It's been a while since I rolled challenge dice. <laughs> Tune in for Demo screws up the mission because he killed a man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. Hey, if this was Moose, that'd be an eight. Yeah, no, that'd be a nine. Yeah, I don't think Demos has mean right hook. Not yet. <laughs> oh, jeez. There is a loud shattering followed by the sound of um head hitting metal as it slammed against a desk or not his uh bar table the bar table being of cheap quality now has a vitar shaped dent in it and that is enough to, it's enough to cause him to fall unconscious demons will look to the other man he's like leave his eyes go wide. Uh, he backs away and immediately flees the bar scene. And Demos, if you wanted two Vitaris Ladies of the Night to do whatever you wanted to do to them, well, you have them now. As they sort of sad, saddle up beside you and go, Ooh, our hero. Ooh, look at those muscles. Ooh, under that costume, that must be quite the uh, physique. He's going to pull out some the money he had there, and he's just going to 
give it to them. Consider this your payment for the night. Have it off. Enjoy it. They look at you and look at the money you give them, and then they uh, turn around and decide that it is best that they not uh, visit this bar for the rest of the night. Uh, Captain, you real you watch all of this from the bar. <laughs> Jaren so looks... normal night. <laughs> Jaren says, "You're is that guy for sale? I'd hire him. Good uh, bodyguard. What do you need with a bodyguard? As you can tell, we're not from around here. Yes. So, what brings you to this?" backwater bar in a backwater system in an ass part of the galaxy. Information. Well. Maybe make a couple purchases. He raises an eyebrow. Well, I have a lot of information to sell, but of course, depending on what type of information you want, it might not be cheap. Fair enough. So, uh, how's the mood been going on here? Uh, you're not one of those Inquisition guys that the Imper that the Imperator is sending around, is he? Inquisition? You know, making sure that the mood is, you know, up, is, you know, as patriotic as possible so that we can go out and kill their side before they can kill us over whatever this stupid war is all about. How do you... So, uh... What's the overall feel on this civil war? Hey, man. Uh, look. I keep my opinion to myself until at least I... until you drink at least a few more. But, look around. It's not hard to see what the mood is these days. We're tired. No, they're tired. Me? I'm making money. I don't care. They're tired. Tired people spend more money just to try not to be tired for a while. So, what do you know about the OVA? Roll me presence command, please. And this is going to be an opposed test. Ooh. I'm going to take in a... Uh -oh. He got two successes. So uh, he's defending. So you need two or more. Okay. I'm going to take a momentum, please. Diplomacy? Not quite the... If you had uh, in from... <laughs> If you had streetwise, that'd be a far better, you know. Right. Intelligence I don't think archaeology, archeolo diplomacy, lead by example. Yeah. Archaeology could work because he's good at digging up dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. No. Not quite what I, I, I was. Don't think... Yeah, I don't All think right. you have a focus on this. I tried. <laughs> okay. That's a complication, and only one success. Yep, it is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you immediately see his uh, expression change, his eyes narrow, and his pleasant barman smile turns into a rictus gr uh, fixed grin. Yeah. Not anything. At all. And as you... As he turns away... Uh, motioning that you should go back to your friends... You see one of his hands slip under the... Under the bar top... And activate a small... Hidden switch.
Hmm. Is there a noticeable change in the environment? Yeah. Not yet. I was like, I apologize. I apologize. Right. I didn't mean to cause any trouble with the manifesto out, though. I don't know. They kind of got a good point. I'm not saying nothing to you. Uh, All right. Back up and take my drink and go back to the table. I live sit down by Hadrix and I go, that could have gone better. Really? It went that well? That well. Oh boy. As you make small chat, you can't help but notice two uh, individuals wearing um, uh, black body glove style uh, armor uh, walk into the bar, head t directly towards the bartender. And he, and you're, he's too far away for you to make any uh, idea of what they're saying, but he gestures. Can in, I read their lips? That would be, a, that's going to be a insight plus, uh, in plus, plus, ah, insight, no, reason plus con difficulty of four. Ooh, reason con. Considering that this is. I feel like this is kind of important. Um, linguistics as a focus? Absolutely. I'm going to pop my determination. Ooh. And what What are you popping? I've got this. Is There's always something new. To, I, I've got this is the one that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have two successes. Um... And I'm going to give you a threat and the momentum that we have for another die. <laughs> More threat. Yay. I got it. There's the four. And now I got to do the challenge die to see if I get my determination back. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Uh, so their, uh, their conversation boils down to uh, the security guards and... The, the black coated individual said you called what's what's the trouble Jaron just gestures into your direction those guys they're new they're they look like they're asking about the ova and they're none of the uh ah, they're none of the ova that I recognize the two nod their heads in unison All right we'll take care of them more just looks to the rest of them we got trouble coming. Well, looks like we're going to need to take care of it. Don't hurt them. Oh, there's more than one way to skin skin a fruit. Skin a cat. Huh. So, uh, it's not those the ah, these two beeline immediately to your location, bumping aside anyone silly enough to get in their way, and they they pull up chairs and sit right beside you, and you cannot help but notice that they have their weapons drawn and pointed at you, uh, just beneath the um the back of the ch just around yeah sorry you know how they do uh the you know that yeah flip the chairs around yeah. sit backwards and pull yeah. yeah yeah they flip the chair backwards they pull their guns out and just sort of keep them at hip level but mm -hmm. they are ready to fire <clears throat> so what can we do for you lovely gentlemen you're asking questions that you should not be asking we're just trying to figure out why because a question needs to be asked, and, well, we're just the ones asking them. So, what's wrong in that? See, 
those types of questions only come from individuals who are looking to cause trouble or become part of it. And considering that we don't know you, you haven't been, your faces haven't been shown to us. We think you are here to cause trouble. We're not here to cause trouble. We're no, here we're because of the manifesto. And we're interested. Is there uh, something we could do to prove ourselves worthy to your cause or something of that sort? They look you up and down. They look at Demos. Specifically Demos. I'm just staring at them. Yep. They're not really flinching. I have a... I have a oh, I, I was going to ask a very quick question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, Nia's focus with alien weaponry... Uh, just glancing over the pistols they have drawn at us. Um, Is this something I could... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Military-grade Vitars Disruptor Pistols. Hmm. You've seen those a uh, few times while on the station. Could I possibly... <laughs> try, oh, no. and, try and remotely hack them so they won't fire? <laughs> I mean, you have the tool, I believe. You have that specialized gadget. I do have my experimental device, yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, daring plus engineering. Uh, difficulty of three. Yep. Do, 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 do. Sure, I'll pop my determination for this. Oh, wow. I love how we're popping determinations before the actual... <laughs> we're, <nickel pop. laughs> we're popping them yeah. the most menial bullshit. <laughs> You know, fine. Uh, for any machine is my plaything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that determination right there. It's so good. And you know what? I shall give you two threat for a third die. I'm liking this threat. Uh, please I, keep it I, coming. I'm not, but you know. <sighs> oh, good luck. Well, uh, so you uh, at least succeed. Yeah. Um, you get one momentum back, I believe. Yeah. And there's a complication. The complication is one of their guns begins to emit a very serious high-pitched whine. And so something, so something like. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, one that is getting higher and higher in pitch as one of them looks down and immediately it's... goes, oh, his eyes you... go wide. As he... Can uh, I take the chair and push them across the room? If I, if I were you, I would get rid of that. He, uh, let me see what happens, because this might be fun. Well, he at least succeeds, not, doesn't completely panic. Uh, he runs uh, to the nearest trash receptacle, <laughs> throws it in the trash receptacle, and then gives the whole thing a kick down a long hallway, down the back room. There is a loud boom as the disruptor goes into overload, uh, causing a... Uh, the downside or the other side is is that it kicks off several other smaller explosions oh good uh several alarms begin to trigger jaren's eyes go extremely wide as he bolts to the uh, back hallway the other two the one who is run away the other one who has a work still has a working disruptor pistol Realizes that this might not be the best oppor best time to stay here. And does a um, commando roll behind... Runs and does a commando roll behind <coughs> the bar. 
So where did Jaren go? Down the hall? Jaren is, hi- like is running... Bar. He's running towards the smaller explosions. See, now, is that so bad? <laughs> needless, yes. to, needless to say, the atmosphere in the bar has changed substantially. Bar fight, bar fight. <laughs> and uh, I guess, uh, can I see the one uh, who I'm assuming is an OVA member behind the bar? Yes, he's not hard to miss. He's uh, not hard to miss. So, about us uh, talking with you about your organization. Want to change your mind about that? Well, uh, once the uh, stampede of drunken panicked customers has uh, left the bar and the uh, performers are no longer performing, the bar has become rather quiet with just the five of you, uh, these two uh, individuals, and Jaren. As well as a couple passed out people who don't seem to really notice much of anything at the moment. Jaren walks out. Well, I hope you're happy. Doesn't matter who you're working for now, I don't have anything to sell. So, you've destroyed all the evidence. Good job. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> to be fair, it was not us. Yeah, it wasn't us. <laughs> yeah, he... He's just fuming and not sure who to blame. He, he just okay. sits down in front of the bar, spins around. I'll get up and sit by him. I'll get up and grab a drink, <laughs> grab a, a bottle and pour him a drink. <laughs> the other one just at the moment is a bit too stunned to do much of anything. The the one that's uh, the one whose disruptor pistol exploded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a bit dumbfounded. The other one behind the bar is wondering if he can still shoot someone, but is currently deciding against it. He has his weapon pulled and just sort of. Just sort of sitting on the bar, just with his hand on it. And its barrel pointing towards whichever one of you is closest. I'm going to pour him a drink and go over and swap about the disruptor pistol for the drink. You seem like you need this, and just put it down. You actually get no resistance when he does this. Yeah, I'll sit down with Jared. Uh, He makes a sound... What just happened? All right. <laughs> so. Poor weapon maintenance. I mean, yeah, you really, good. even though those things are apparently military grade, you really should take better care of them. I'll ask again. Why are you here? Well, I had thought of. I am interested in information on the OVA, and I came about certain weapon dealings. Well, I don't have any weapons to sell you anymore. But if you happen to have any more money, perhaps enough to cover the repairs that this is going to cost me. I'll give you twice. He taps the uh, bar in front of him a couple times. Money first, then education, then information. Make it quick. Hey. Station security is on their way. I'll give them everything we ha- I have. It, it's a, I'll give them the credit card that says William T. Riker on it. And <laughs> just pass it on. It's the, it's the Riker he, card. <laughs> or it's just like he has one of those credit cards where you can put anything on it and it's just a picture of Admiral Riker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured, you know, the Admiral has his own. We have we have to pay for things some way, so I'm sure he just passed on his credit card to us. So, you know. That'll be a fun I know, expense I'll... report. Yeah, yeah, it'll be this right is on. the pin number for it. Yeah, there you go. 
Uh, it's actually a pin, pin code jazz. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Anyways. <laughs> Jaren, I'm sorry, continue. <laughs> Jaren takes the uh, amount of money that you are all able to pool together, um, palms it in his hand, weighs it slightly, and just nods to himself. Look, I, I, know, I know of him. I've only met him once, but I know where the weapons go. I was curious once. Put a tracker on some stuff. If I give you the location where the weapons are going... You won't... Oh, sorry, I'm not... Ah, I have the hic... I'm developing the hiccups. That's good. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah. It's At least you're not see. joking anymore. <laughs> True. Look, if I give you this information, will you not arrest me or execute me or something? I swear we my... Are... We seriously have... No... We have no... We have bigger fish no... to fry. Yeah, we have much bigger fish to fry, and we are not here to... All I wanted was information. I apologize for the damage. I apologize for thing. I just need information. Okay. All right. Okay. He pulls out a uh, primitive data slate, punches a series of galactic coordinates on it, and slides it your way. Look, this is where the weapon shipment went. That's all I have. I don't know this. I don't know this cager guy. Don't know him well. Haven't seen him in a year. Don't know any of his handlers. Swear to God, or swear to the emperor. Well, you know, swear to someone. Well, I said, I appreciate it. Again, I'm sorry, and I wish you the best of luck. And I look around, and I was like. Uh, at this point, several more or several more officially dressed Vitars show up at the door. All uh, right, we group together and basically, yeah, hit click the Tom badge and just <laughs> icebreaker. <laughs> That's not the safe word. <laughs> Disruptor fire starts. Scimitar. <laughs> Disruptor fire starts piercing the uh, air around you as Jaren and his um, goons begin to trade fire with these local security guards. The dude who had his disruptor uh, blown out reaches underneath the desk and pulls out a double barrel shotgun. A oh god! Weapon. Oh god! Let's go! Let's go! A perfect weapon <laughs> yeah. in any shit, shit, shit. A perfect weapon. Get us out of here. <laughs> no matter the civilization. Of course. Well, a shot off, a shot off double barrel shotgun. Oh, now, this is my boomstick. Exactly. And this is my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was coming. And just as a loud boom uh, threatens to shatter all of your eardrums, because those things are stupidly loud. Oh, yeah. You uh, teleport off and find yourself back on the Black Shield. Um, Chief Engine. All right. Okay. Ears are ringing. Ow. Ow. Oh. Uh, Commander Helsing is down there along with his uh, chief engineer slash transport officer uh, Mitsu Yang. As soon as I look at him, and that's why I left intelligence and hand him the data pad and walk away. <laughs> he go about as well as they usually go. <laughs> well, that was fun. I'm going to go change back. Well that done, Jonas. Worse. <laughs> I hand that the data pad off to my intel specialist. So, Captain, they kind of honed you in on a on a sector. It seemed like coordinates are on the pad. Mm -hmm. So, a uh, quick tie-in to the ship's computers. Um, if you go to the handout and you see Vitar's space. Um, I'll just pull this up on stream so that everyone can see it. Uh, okay. Show the players. So, going to Vitar's space, uh, there is a large gulf of empty space north of Vax, uh, which has contain which contains a 
uh, it's a failed stellar nursery. Uh, so a, he a lot of dense nebular gases have coalesced around here, but they're just not active enough to form stars. So they just swirl around in a nasty, nasty soup. Uh, the coordinates are a point somewhere in there. Hmm. So yeah, so north hmm. of uh, the planet Se uh, Siegantu. Knowing what we know about the active camouflage in this miasma of swirling cosmic gases. Might be tricky. Cause... Okay. Might be tricky. So, well, of course, like, Nia's hearing probably clears up by then. So what you're saying is we're probably going to need to do some enhancement on the sensors, Commander? Um, definitely would help out on the transporters for sure. Excellent. And we would appreciate your assistance. I, I would like to, uh, to get my determination back. I would like to challenge my value. Oh, uh, which, oh. Of, which value? of better to ask forgiveness, better to beg forgiveness to ask than to ask permission. Oh, you're actually you know, learning the value of the chain of command. And I just say, you can tell he is visibly fighting, <laughs> asking this question. Oh, I'll allow Commander, it. permission to enhance the sensors. By all means. He Look just cracks his knuckles and... Engineer. It's ready to go to work. Yep. Just look up with my chief engineer so she knows what you're doing in case so we can maintain it after you all go. Of course. All right. So I need to have Nia over. I forgot to bring Nia's token onto this ship. He's around here somewhere. Jaren, Nia. There you are. So, uh, Jaren, you wander behind... Uh, uh, Lieutenant Mitsu Yang, who leads you down to sensor operations. And excellent. we are going to take our break here. Uh, so let's come back at 20 or 35 past the hour. So just over 10 minute break. And we will go back to the second part of this mission shortly. See you soon. And we are back. So, uh, Commander Sun, uh, not Commander Sun, but Commander Helsing, uh, you've just been given coordinates to the eh, what is most likely the, eh, the exfil, or the target objective. How do you wish to proceed? Captain Mature, bounce this off of you. Um, go in as maintain as far distance as we can. Scan, then try to locate wherever our hostages are. Get them, getting them out is the first priority. Then we find Tagger, Cager, Cager. Yeah, are thing. we are we taking Cager out? Are we if just... we can. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Want him as in as many people of his cell as we can to get so we can get more intelligence. Idea is go in, minimize the damage, no kill mission. So heavy on stunners, on, uh, phasers on stun, uh, sonic grenades, the works. Okay. Um, before we, that all goes down, uh, I would like to try and enhance the sensors, McCall, because it of seems course. like we're going to need it. Of course. Uh, um, so specifically, I'm doing this through my talent of past the red line. Okay, and that does what? So, let me read the entirety of the talent. 
Uh, this character can choose a ship system, in this case sensors, mm -hmm. uh, and attempt to gain bonus momentum with any task using that system until the end of the scene. Oh. To do so, this character must attempt a daring engineering task with difficulty equal to the amount of bonus momentum they want that system to give. Oh. On a success, subsequent tasks using that system generate that amount of bonus momentum, but also increases the complication range by the same amount. Ah. If any, yep, if any complications are rolled, the system stops providing bonus momentum and the system suffers a number of breaches equal to half the ship's scale. Okay. Which, uh, since the Black Shield is a scale three, would we round up or round down in this case? Always round up. Always round down, sadly. Yeah. In most systems, they usually round down. Okay, so that means only one breach if things go wrong. <laughs> Fair. Um, um, I can also I'll say, with that. Yeah, I'll say, uh, Helsing, this is your ship. Um, how, how high do you want me to go? <laughs> What do you feel comfortable with? So, if we bring it up by three, that lowers the difficulty t from 20 no, no, to it, 17? No, no, no. What it, what it will do, it increases the complication range. So, instead of it being just 20, it would go to 17 to 20? Yeah. Which is what he said. Yeah, he just said. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, I oh, said. Oh, oh. Uh, Sorry, difficult I've... instead of complication, but right, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then that would in increase the sensors by three. It would give us three bonus momentum with each oh. task we do. Oh, for how long? Ever? Uh, until yeah. the end of the scene, which could be a while, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sensors are going to be a, a big thing with the transporters for sure. Alrighty. Cool. So do you want me to go with that three then? Yeah, let's go with the three, because if you fail, it's going to probably hit the complication range anyways. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. okay. Cool, cool, cool. I can also assist with uh, sensor operation reverse engineering as talent, or as focuses. All righty. Okay. Yeah, you I'll breach, take You breach it, you fix it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, so, okay, sorry, go ahead. Uh, so, so daring plus engineering, I believe? Yep, difficulty three. Yeah, and... Uh, the ship won't be able to assist in this instance because you are literally trying to work on the ship. Uh, yes. But more can assist, or you can get an assistance from uh, Lieutenant Yang. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll take more. Um, performance enhancement is a focus. Yeah, that'll do. And sure, why not? Because this seems like it'll be necessary for him. Um, let's pop his determination again. Okay. Boink! For the value of Upgrades are always necessary, even the dangerous kind. Oh, wow, god. that is fitting. Oh god. <laughs> um, side note, if this does succeed, I do have technical expertise on more. So as if I'm doing the sensor rolls, if we roll complications, I can re-roll. Ta-da! Nice. <laughs> Alright, okay. so... And I do have a focus... Wow, so that's uh, three successes already from so, you, Nia. Yeah, and no help for more, but that is a total of five successes, so we will gain two momentum. Darn. Nicely done. Mitsu Yang is f ex extremely um, impressed with how well you um, acclimate yourself to a new ship's systems, and when, she's, when you're done, she asks for uh, schematics for your tool. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> in, his, in his head he thinks phrasing <laughs> but he'll yeah. she realizes mm. from, from the from the look you give her she realizes that and blushes slightly and instead points to the thing on your wrist <laughs> oh 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 yeah um let me ask my commanding officer on the station, and I will let you know. And then remembering that he has a girlfriend on the station, he's committed, he's walking away. <laughs> oh, she was going to give you her number and everything. Oh, darn. Yeah, oh well, maybe next time. <laughs> so, Mr. Neo, well done. Do you Have you ever thought about 
a career in the intelligence field. When I get a commission, and he points to the uh, you know the chief petty officer thing on his uniform. Potentially, if you can guarantee me one, I'll think about it. Uh, no problem. We have we have your records already, so no problem. As long as you got the interest, that's I'll run it up the flagpole. All right. In that case, I'll stay on the station for a bit. If uh, but if you get some definite word, let me know. Will do. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're looking at roughly two days uh, travel at warp. I'm going to assume that Nia's day uh, upgrade takes about a day. Uh, does anyone Most have likely. Any, anything they wish to do, discuss, talk about, uh, rehearse, react to? Uh, Demos is taking his time uh, fixing up his armor again to make it look like its usual self. And uh, he does look normal again. Moore's going to go to the range of practice with his whip. So, that's what I was also going to recommend. Start handing out everybody uh, phaser threes and the the combat armor letting him start get used to it oh by the way jim i'm yep. giving you seven threat what? Okay. What? <laughs> let's take a look at what i'm purchasing oh god we don't need board cubes targeting visor mm-hmm. now just tr because... oh, sorry. 125 <laughs> rifle tr 125 microtransporter barrel and a compression rifle in a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, okay, so <laughs> because he's given me threat for those items, uh, you can all take them if you wish. Um, I'm going to assume that you're going to take the body armor and uh, phaser three, phaser threes also. So uh, that's um, phaser three compression rifles, whichever yeah. ones we've used on the station that can't be dampened. Yeah, that would be the compression rifles. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then uh, body armor too, which mm-hmm. is my armor. So these TR-125 rifles are, since they have the deadly quality, every attack with them, I assume, is lethal? Uh, you can do non-lethal damage, but instead, but the difficulty goes up by one. So okay. It is a difficulty Yeah, I'll just take... Three. I will instead take... Uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm looking at this right. Uh-huh. And lethal damage gives threat each time you use... You get right, this. right. So... Could I have a phase like those phaser compression rifles and put one of those micro transporter barrels on it? Uh, sadly, it doesn't work that way. Damn. If the compression rifles work as a energy weapon, and you can't transport energy. Fair. Meanwhile, the TR-125, you can attach a micro transporter thing and blow somebody's head off without even you know, without anyone tracing a bullet arc. Got it. Okay. Not that I'm recommending you both blow someone's head off because your Starfleet officers and all that, but, you know. I mean, technically we aren't right now. <laughs> Wink. Oh, God. Nudge. nudge. Um, well, in I that case, everybody, I guess... Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we still are. We're just undercover. <clears throat> and also add pulse grenades. Let's see, hold on, let me... Or whatever that threat spin is going to be. Let me look at what Neo's security is really quick. Ah, it's decent enough. Yeah, I'll just take a compression rifle then. I'll... I'll go stun only here. But I will be taking, uh... Take the personal shield, because that sounds nice. Okay. <laughs> and... How many of us are planning on taking the uh, targeting visors? Of oh, us? I def- oh, I definitely am. Yeah. Oh, we all can now, right? Yep. Since the third yes. party. To- okay, then I so just then I'll just assume that we can have everything. On. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the targeting visor and the personal shield then. Okay. Just make a note of it on your character sheet. Will do. And for those listening on stream, wondering what the heck a targeting visor is, it's something I made up. Basically, you can spend a full or a standard action to aim against a single target, and then everyone gets the aim bonus against that one target. 
because that's uh, what we get for playing Star Wars or Star Trek Online. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 and and now that the uh, dressing up the suit up montage is complete, <clears throat> uh, and and since. Ensign Chiss reports from uh, Helm. Sir, we're reaching the coordinates. Dropping out of warp. All right. And active camo, black alert. Yes, sir. And as soon as you drop out, you can... Uh, Loxley reports that there is a strain on the shields from the nebula particles. Uh, they're high energy. Probably not a problem, sir, but if the shields were to drop, radiation poisoning could become a problem if we stay here long term. Hopefully we'll be in and out. She nods. All right, sir, taking us in. And as soon as we get to scanning range. Yes. So, you come upon... Uh, you spend a couple hours navigating through dense nebula gas, dodging micrometeors, asteroids. Nothing, you know, threatening, just annoyances. An occasional back eddy of potentially explosive gas. When you c come upon a, the an eye of the storm, so to speak, where the gases are far less dense than typical. Uh, on screen is an extremely large derelict vessel. It doesn't match any known species or none of the Vitars. Uh, Lox Loxley and Graham report from their sensors that this ship is, or metallurgy is inconclusive. It reads as a silicate based uh, alloy, but they're not able to get, any, they're not able to get any scans of the inside which is two of the threat that I'm going to spend on a complication. Um, they are reporting that on that there's no power to the ship, but they are reading a small amount of uh, Class M atmosphere on what they presume to be what may have been the bridge or upper decks at one point. Other than that, there is no sign of ships or active weapon systems. Do you have any, any life signs? Uh, not able. We, we're unable to penetrate the hull, sir. Uh, I cannot give you a proper answer. That's an awesome picture, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's neat. Mm-hmm. I saw this and was like, let's do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So it looks like he's at least confined to the bridge. Looks like a bug hunt. Indeed. All right. I'd like to remind everyone we are here. Commander Hadrix is in charge of this mission. But as Starfleet officers, I don't want a lot of bloodshed. We get our people, we find them, the, uh, the cabal, and get us out. We'll do what needs to be done. Okay. So, how are you... How are you infiltrating? Is, do we have a location close to, as close to the bridge area as we can, or is it go transport on the exterior and cut our way in? Uh, looking through everything, um, uh, the chief engineer and Loxley put their heads together and uh, sir, as near as we can tell, the closest point of entry is an external hatch close to what their bridge may have been at one point. 
but its exterior. We'll have to beam you in with, we'll have to zero G it. And she makes a, there, ah, uh, Mitsu Yang makes the expression like she's glad that she's not going. What if we had one person transport to the exterior of the hull, or one or two, cut their way in, and then we identify an area where we can pull everybody else back in? As opposed to trying to put the full team on the exterior and clomp around. It's certainly something we could try. Go in with um, pattern enhancers as well. I was just thinking pattern enhancers, and um, I would suggest that we send. Uh, oh, sorry, brain fart, moose. Uh, <laughs> Demos. Demos, and since he doesn't necessarily breathe oxygen, cut his way in, drop in with pattern enhancers, and beam on board the rest of the team. Yep, Moose can come in with me. Demos, Moose is left on Demos. Oh, sorry. Demos, or Tartarus? <laughs> yeah. Demos just Tart fight, so. I, I, Are we going with Tartarus still? I'm, I'm no, having enough it, time it, with Demos. <laughs> it was just for the bar if we had to communicate. Okay. Um, All right. <laughs> uh, Demos just pipes up. Like, it was, this is like I'm a meeting I'm assuming with everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is us planning. Um, I do need to breathe. It's how oh. I regulate internal temperatures. Oh. So. It also right. prevents mental breakdown. There's and, a whole thing. And <laughs> rust. <laughs> so, okay. uh, Demos and I will transport to the exterior by the hatch, cut our way in, set up pattern enhancers, and bring the rest of everybody in. Um, we'll also have our uh, shuttle on standby in case we run into issues and can't use the transporters and the shuttle will be able to bring us back out. All right. It'll be on ready one. Okay. So who's going on, who's going on deck? Um, myself and Demos, I think. Okay. And yep. we'll bring the rest of the crew in after that. Okay. Uh, the two of you fully geared up in EVA suits. Uh, Demos is, is probably... I'm not sure what an EVA suit looks like for an EXO. Does it... Is it a function of your armor, or...? Yeah, yeah, we'll just say that. Okay. <laughs> I like the vision of your standard armor and then a Starfleet issue uh, EVA helmet just duct taped on, but yeah, it's a function <laughs> of your armor. <laughs> That, that's uh, my headcanon, just so I can laugh about it. <laughs> uh, that is fine. Okay, so we are going to the riskiest part of the mission, and that is, does the GM have dynamic lighting set up properly? Let's find out. <laughs> and Demos, I guess you got the pattern enhancers, because they're no problem for you to carry. <laughs> His back is loaded with a TR-125 for compression rifle, three pattern enhancers. That's zero G. It's zero G. <laughs> Dang. Um, okay. Ooh. Some people are showing up. Are you guys uh, seeing everything? I just uh, see the outside. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, I see a black see. hole. <laughs> uh, zoom out. Let's see if there. I see somebody ping things, but I. Yep. Okay. That's I can see here, but I can't see over here. Yeah, you're not supposed to see it in there. Yeah. Okay. Planet sight's blocked. Yeah. Uh, so you beam to the exterior of the ship. Uh, the first thing you notice is that your boots do not magnetize to the surface. Uh, the ship's hull is silicate-based, which is non-metallic. Uh, it's so worn by micrometeor strikes, you're able to find purchase and hold on. But, you know, that's the first thing you notice. Uh, the second thing you notice is that someone has been here before you. And there is a large metal dome in front. Uh, it was at one point solid metal, but someone has carved a squarish hole, roughly uh, two stories tall, and has 
inserted a pair of industrial strength uh, close uh, sliding doors. It would appear that people have been using this as an or people have had the same idea that you have had. All right. Looks like we got our way in. The stream is being weird. I'm just going to make the other player tokens visible so that the stream can actually see things. There. Can we do a tricor ring to see if there's life signs on the other side of the door? Uh, absolutely. Uh, this is going to be a insight plus medicine uh, with a difficulty of uh, three, given the sensor jamming nature of the ship but you're close enough and the door itself is imperfect that there's enough of a gap that you should be able to figure something out and let's go ahead and use one of those momentum okay or... and available focus Infiltration? Yeah, that'll work. That's the three successes you need. Well done. Uh, you're seeing three life signs uh, before the tricorders get hazy and uh, indistinct and staticky. Uh, you're seeing three individuals. Uh, I'm just going to shift ping for a second. One there. One there and one over here and is it like a airlock setup yes. or? yeah it's an airlock setup precisely all right got three contacts on the inside sort of spread out but all within effective range once we go in so Cycle through, go out shooting. We could, or if possible, we could lure them to the hatch, give them a nice surprise. Avon calling? Not sure what that means, but, um, uh, I believe old, the term is spacing. Yeah. Old door door to door salesman back on on Earth a long time ago. Oh. The knock on the door. Does it have a doorbell? Uh, there is a panel of some sort. It does appear to be a basic access uh, terminal. The speaker grill is in there as well as three buttons. It's not hard to figure out what to, what a few of those buttons are for. Um, how's your engineering, Commander? Used to be an engineer in my old ship. Built a ship on the Cerberus station. All means, I'll let you take. Trying to see if you can lure him out. Go for that. Sure. So, with our scans, McCall, mm -hmm. do I know if they're in, like, are there, like, multiple rooms ahead, or is this, like, an open... Uh, it appears space. to be a primarily an open space with an uh, a small side a sidereal office to on the right side of the room. Okay, but the three individuals are in the open space. Uh, two in the open space, one in the office. Okay. I'm just going to prepare the panel there. I'm, I'm going to try and hack it if I can. Okay. So it doesn't require a cycling override. Ah, you and just... that I... Okay. So then I can just blow them out into space. Open both doors at the same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll me a uh, control plus engineering with a difficulty of three. Given the simplistic nature of this door, it's going to require... It's one of these scenarios where the door is too simple. And you're going to have to bypass a lot of measures that just aren't actually 
accounted for. So. Okay. Give me a second here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have Midas assist me. Of course. I was going to look at my me. stats, but I forgot. I, I pulled them from the, the oh. site because they're uh, the, the little lights are all standard stats. Okay. He never gets any advancements. Uh, but yeah, he has computers. All right. Um, intruder protocol, since I'm being the intruder. intruder <laughs> I have sure. an idea of you know how people would do things. Sure, go for it. Uh, so, control or daring again, sorry? Uh, control engineering. Control engineering. Uh, I'll just, do we have a momentum? Uh, you have two. I'll stack one. And you got, say, four, so you get one momentum right back. And control engineering for Midas, because he is helping. Mm -hmm. He might get me an extra one. I imagine he's in a fishbowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Fishbowl! Uh, Zero-G fishbowl Midas. He probably has to be tethered to you, otherwise he'll just float away. Well, he has his own little propulsion system. Yeah. yeah. But he stays yeah. close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, both doors open. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Oh, I wanted us to get it on a mark. So, like, oh. it's prepared to go. Ah. Um, and then I'm just going to, uh, with the tricorder readings, yeah. just tap on a door lightly, like, literally knocking. Just, to, like, make it sound like rocks are hitting it or something like that. Okay. I'm just waiting to see if, if the tricor shows that they're getting closer. All right. Uh, let's see what happens here. Okay. That's fun. So th the one that has been keeping an eye on the life... Uh, that. So Sunbay, as Helsing is looking at the... Life signs, keeping track of them. You notice the one in the office, the one off to the right, beginning to uh, move into the large open area and coming into the uh, door. There is a brief period of... Uh, you hear the uh, airlock door behind you, or beh the secondary airlock door, seal shut as this one begins to open. You see a, uh, uh, you see a Vitar uh, Vitars in full EVA gear step out with his gun uh, drawn. Yeah, so he closed the second door behind him to keep pressure? Yes. Cool, I'm opening that second door and the pressure's going to blast him away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the complication was for. Uh, so... <laughs> And I'll shoot the first soldier. All right. Uh, control plus security, please. But that also vacuum suck out the other two? <laughs> it will indeed, yes. We're just going to deal with the first soldier first. Because depending on how well uh, uh, Helsing does. Okay. Yeah, you hit. Roll damage, please. I like at the start before this mission happens, like, don't kill anyone. We're going to space three people. <laughs> yeah, this one's an EVA. He'll just be stunned floating in space. Uh, is more on the, the uh, ship? Um, yeah, you, the, you guys are still waiting in the transporter pad. Uh, waiting on the transporter pad for your infiltration. Can I be at the transporter control and transport that guy to the brig? Uh, oh, I really? Was, uh, yeah. Just zap him out of space and into the brig. I'll say that the uh, transporter, that uh, Mitsu Yang can do that. If we can just roll three of them, then hey, you know, two of them are going to have a real bad time with popped lungs, but <laughs> medical science is coming far <laughs> along enough. Yeah, and yeah, so this one flies off into the abyss and materializes before he gets too far. Uh, the other two that fly out are not as fortunate. 
their skin turns a uh, deep, deep orange as all the blood vessels on their skin burst. Uh, th they immediately start gasping, and that's pretty much the last you see of them as they fly away. And how do you add the macro again? Uh, it's uh, you want to? Oh, sorry. There is a gear on the gear icon. Uh, yep. not, not the gear icon. The one to the left of it. Uh, challenge dice. There's the in bar checkbox. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So inside. Uh, let me get to the dynamic lighting. Uh, this is what you see. Uh, the stream will catch up shortly once the rest of the folks are beamed in. So 11 damage to that one floating dude. Yeah, he's instantly stunned. Okay, so this is what you see. Um... A fairly uh, Spartan, industrial-style uh, room that is built for humanoids that appear to be slightly larger than most. So, Demos, you feel right at home here. Uh, Excellent. All the stairs are just slightly too tall uh, for you, Mr. Helsing. The doors are far taller, and everything is large, except for obviously things that the Vitars brought, such as tools, which have now been, you know, spaced. So, you know, nothing of that sort remains, but that's pretty much what you hear. Uh, the only other thing you hear, uh, well, uh, Demos, do you reseal? Um, I reseal, but I don't uh, the oxygen cycle back in. Okay. So it's still acts a little bit like a vacuum. So if they open the door yeah. on the other side, they're getting pulled in. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And uh, we'll do a scan of the. Uh, well, we already scanned. We don't see anybody in the other room. That's right. Now this yeah. particular level has been vacated, forcibly. All right. So we'll move oh. into the next room, secure it, and set up pattern enhancers. Everyone else on the ship is still wearing EVA suits, I assume. I suspect so. That's pretty much standard for this kind of operation. Yeah. Keeping the armor, so. Well, of course. And I'm assuming our armor is... Iron Man would be. Mm -hmm. And I assume all of our gear looks nondescript. Jet black. Yep. Matte black. Yeah. Carbon fiber. <laughs> okay. Um. So I have something here with my hands, besides turning people into unwilling drones. Yes. Um, tactile sensors. Yes. Uh. So. How to do this? Okay, I have to spend two to give it a finish. Because, like, I, I also have artificial senses as well. So mm -hmm. I was, like, trying to do, like, the... I want to, like, feel them out through vibrations and then also see if I could, like, spot heat signatures through the walls. Right. Gotcha. But that's four momentum I think I need to spend, so I'm just going to wait a little bit until okay. things get dicey. All right. Uh, while you start pondering the nature of that stuff, uh, Helsing, you set up the transporter enhancers. And in the spirit of keeping the plot moving, these individuals... Beam on board. Oh, okay. I was like, man, this is a lot of fun to not see. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I thought I turned on shared vision that everyone can see what the others are seeing, but maybe that's just not something that is quite right with the dynamic lighting. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've never been able to figure that out. Eh, it is kind of odd. But yeah. A little bit. Anyways. Um, you are now all inside. And you are all wearing your EVA suits as it is currently still depressurized. You notice to the far left of this map our stair would be a staircase that goes down. Uh, however, mm. by the depressuring of, or the sudden evacuation of oxygen from the entranceway, 
a secondary door has slammed shut, preventing anyone from actually moving further and keeping everyone else alive. <clears throat> All right. First problem to overcome. You got a plasma cutter in that thing, Demos? Uh, oh, I do have teleport and bullets, don't I? <laughs> you do, yes. You kind of <laughs> have to know where they're going, but yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, like, I, uh, I'm, I'm, Demos is really thinking, you know, like, mm, if I can see them with a tactile sensor and then heat signatures, I could just start shooting through the walls. Yeah. Oh, God. And then he zones back in, like, mm, what? What was it? Mm. Plasma cutter. Nope. But it's connected to a computer system, which means it can be overridden. Yeah, on that. Go for it. That sounds like a Neath or Hacker. a Demos thing. Is it Nia? Uh, Nia. I let Nia because they actually have the device for this. I've just been lucky with my rules. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Fair. All right. Uh, Nia, this is going to be a con uh, this will be a daring plus engineering, with a difficulty cool. of two. Okay. And let's let's actually remember that you have your uh, device. So. so I always have an advantage, so that's difficulty one. Nice. Um, computers, firewalls. Computers would work. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so all of that. That um, zero I would, successes. I would, like, I would like to say also that eighteen is a complication. Yes, I was just about to say that. Uh, so, Oy. as you, uh, not only does the computer forcibly reject you, uh, you hear the sound of an alarm going off down below. Shit! Not good. No. Well, well. look what you did, Nia. I just smile. <laughs> Black Sheep, Black Sheep, look at the heart in you. Sorry, what were you saying about Black Shield? Hey. Um, Black Shield, can you send us a uh, plasma torch? Yes, Captain. I will send. I, I will send you the toy that you forgot to bring. And within thank a, you. And within a minute, a, a large plasma cutter uh, materializes in the transporter enhancers. All right. Engineers, get to it. Uh, so dare uh, whoever wants to do it, a daring plus engineering roll. Um, this will be a difficulty of zero, but basically, however many successes you get will mean how fast you get to do this. Uh, forced entry um, would be one. Metal working would be another good focus. Um, if mm. you happen to have a uh, percussive maintenance, wait. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I have percussive maintenance, the simple man's cure all as a value, but not as a focus, like a uh, dingus. But it's yeah. fine. Yeah, if only you had uh, those determinations left. Anyways. <laughs> so if one of you wants to take the lead, the other one can assist. Can also assist if you would like. One person can assist. Um, and you said it would be daring engineering. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm one of the better people for the job for that, so I guess we'll see what happens. And you said it was difficulty what? Difficulty zero, but however many successes you get is however how fast this takes. Got it. Uh, let's take a momentum just to see if I can get another success to get us in there faster. Sure. And I do not have a focus, so pew pew. All right, three and successes. Three. So Yay! Three momentum. Huzzah. So let's see if uh, more helps me out, because I think you said something yep. about helping. I think more was going to do something. Daring engineering. 
1d20, would reverse engineering count as focus? No. Breaking <laughs> something does not count as reverse engineering. Hey, we're breaking it to fix it. Nope. You do, you do break stuff in the process of reverse engineering. That's not what it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Don't worry, I'm on your side. <laughs> okay, that's a complication. Thank you. Well, we did this kind of <laughs> momentum. I'll give you two of that to buy off that complication. Uh, you can't buy complications off with momentum. I forgot about you that. You buy Shit. complications off by giving me threat. And I have a lot of threat, so I will be happy to take more. Uh, take yeah, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, take the two. We want to get out. We want to get okay. in here quick. <laughs> okay. You uh, burn through this like I burn through cheesecake. And <laughs> that just came out of nowhere, but that's a good image. I like that. We're going with it. And you come to a door, or you come to a large staircase that heads down. Um, that heads down. Now, because the ship is obviously built for larger uh, uh, humanoid species, the stairs are just far apart to be awkward, but not far apart enough to be untraversable. All right, let's go. All right. And, uh, so, and this is a, still a zero G environment inside. Uh, still zero G, still spacing. Uh, as you guys start going down, you realize something. Their air is still escaping, and you are starting to very. One of you wonders whether or not the hostages actually have EVA suits or any form of air protection. Are we oh, close? No. Yeah. The, well, the airlock was closed. Yeah, we just oh. didn't recycle the air. So ah, it was inside, like a vacuum. Inside the airlock. Ah. Yeah. Oh, my apologies. My, okay. Never mind. I, yeah, so the uh, air just rushed in to sort of refill the air, the local space. My bad. Never mind. There goes that cool uh, complication idea. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on down to level two, where you guys find yourselves. In a black box. In a black box. Wrong button, wrong button. Let me just... What's in the box? Move What's everyone over in here. the box? Da, 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 da. <coughs> so. It's still loading for me. While uh, we're going through the ship, um, mm -hmm. I would like to get some scans mm -hmm. to figure out like what this is and why it is. Okay. Um, basic scans, because you probably don't have the time to do a detailed scientific analysis or you know collect too many samples. Um... Mm -hmm. The structural decay would indicate that would put this ship at maybe two or three thousand years old. Uh, it matches no known Starfleet or uh, no known spacefaring race. Um, no DNA evidence. No power. Si no ship-based power systems beyond that which the Vatars have brought in. And a lar something is lar something large is starting to is draining a lot of this power on the floor that you have just come upon. Do I notice anything about the ships like sent like the readings on the age or the race or no, anything it's, in particular? Okay. It's nothing that you that Nighthawk has encountered before. Oh, okay. Just yep. just curious. Yeah, you know, random ancient pro progenitor okay. alien species number 463. Still waiting for that spears thing to come up and again at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Funny you mentioned that. Anyways. Is the map still loading for people? Uh, no, it should be up. Um, it's, it's dynamic lighting, so if we like, move our toga, we can see more stuff. Yeah. I'm just using this as an example. Yeah. But... No, mine specifically says loading determining scale sizes. Oh. oh. You huh. might want to just do a quick reload on your, on your mm -hmm. webpage then. Either that, or I found out the uh, best countermeasure for players. <laughs> oh jeez! You can't beat a dungeon if you can't play it. <laughs> I mean, that is true. <laughs> yes, that is indeed true. Unfair, but true. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any luck, Sunday? Okay, it's looking better now. Awesome. 
All right. Awesome. I awesome. am in. Awesome. <laughs> Apparently, awesome possum is my new thing. Cool. I like possums. So, uh, as you have wandered in, uh, Cap uh, Captain Bashir has taken note of a large power drain coming from this floor, roughly about 20 meters in front of you. I don't think I put dynamic lighting to indicate closed doors, so naturally you will probably catch a glimpse of it as you do. Yes, I didn't, because of reasons. So, as you uh, enter, you notice a small uh, hallway off to your left that will head up or head northwards or into the large cavern where there are green glowing lights and a s massive sound of uh, generators. Along with a series of fluid pumps, which is kind of distressing to hear. Uh, since we have the momentum for this, mm -hmm. uh, I am going to use the tactile sensor and uh, see if I can try and locate uh, more people. Okay. Um, so you're just going to spend the two to get the advantage? Yeah. Okay. So, one second here. So, your tactile sensors tell you a couple things of interest. Uh, the mm -hmm. first, um, Borg algorithms immediately kick in and identify this ship as, oh, as species 462. Ooh, that's a low number. Very low. No mm -hmm. other uh, species biographical information is available. Um, they were deemed uh, unassimilatable and thus were of no interest to the collective. Uh, mm. The other thing that you notice are, uh, let me see. Cool. So um, you are determined, uh, based on your tactile sensors, those who are currently moving, there is one right here. There is another one slightly to the south of it. And there's another down a uh, narrow hallway to the north. I'm not picking up a group, though? Not a group. Uh, your sense, The ship's construction is still playing some havoc with your local sensors, so it runs into interference and becomes a little degraded. Okay. Uh, I'll just say on comms, like, apparently this is an old species. The Borg encounters them, gave them a three-digit uh, moniker. Whoa. Yeah. Considering how high their numbers have gone, it's impressive. I'm also picking up some life signs, but nothing detailed of where our people are at. All right, we'll assume those are the OVA. I recommend I take point if and when we get under heavy fire, stay behind. I do have some extra tricks up my sleeve. Literally. <laughs> Does he have sleeves? So start, uh, I'm assuming he's in a, his armor is, it's, well, he's fully coated in it, so probably. Yeah. Yeah, right. but he's big before, but the armor he's in now, he's even just more beefier. So, yeah, I'll, uh... I'll set for you. Okay. Ooh. Take, move I your can't... token? Yes. I can't drag him. Oh, uh, how about now? There he is. Yeah, sorry, if you're jammed in the middle of those law, the lighting lines, it doesn't work out quite well. Ah. Also, I think you're all a little too large for this map. I'm just going to shrink you a bit so it's moving around is a bit easier. Oh no, we've gone through a nebula and we have all shrunk a little bit. <laughs> At least you haven't de-aged. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at little baby Demos. He's an ingot. 
<laughs> but he is still full of murderous rage. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, Demos, which way are you going? Are you heading north or are you heading into the room with all the power? Oh, I'm going to head into the room with all the power. Okay. I am going to uh, tap on, like, I'm just going to point to that door to let them know that something might be up there, so to watch it. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> fair. So, what you guys see, um, hang on, we're going to try something here. Let's move to the dynamic lighting layer. Can I reveal? Oh, uh, let's see. What if, does that do anything? I don't think so. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Um, let's try this. That probably didn't do anything. Okay, uh, so Demos. Hey, dynamic lighting is awesome when it works, but eh. <laughs> it's like he's like Demos. I hate, and I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Yeah, I went in two different trains of thought. Left the station at the same time. Only one won out. Um, <laughs> I hate. <laughs> uh, Demos, as you walk into the room, or mm -hmm. you notice uh, several things. There is a large circular vat of green goop in the center, a large vat of it, and it is being fed into eight uh, humanoid paw, or humanoid side cyl cylindrical pods, each of which containing a uh, naked vitars. Uh, you don't have any time to actually analyze this new information, as three individuals uh, have taken cover behind one of the pods and you guys are now all going to enter combat. Uh, hang on, let's add turns. So, uh, because that complication was bought off, you guys are the good guys, so you guys get to go first. Um, are they taking cover or are they drawing weapons on us? They have their weapons drawn. Uh, that's what the alarm was for. So they are ready to fire. So they are in they are in cover, they have weapons drawn, but you did power through the second complication, which means that you guys do get to go first. Sounds like they've made a mistake to have their guns aimed at me. Well, would you care to educate them on the proper way to deal with you? <laughs> Let me educate them on the art of war. Uh ooh, guys, do I do it? Do I do the TR one twenty five? Mm -hmm. not remember what we were told <laughs> true hmm. attempt but... to stun first okay compression rifle it is that's still a, a nasty weapon yep we also have type threes yeah so i am going to shoot the uh, nearest one to me i guess with uh i guess i will move i'll move uh, this one? yeah how far can i move eh it's all a little yeah. subjective. I'm going to move up here like it's cover. Yeah. Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, I suppose... You know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I should mention that the uh, vat of goop is elevated, so it is sort of cover... Okay, based. yeah. Uh, well, it here. when I get here, I'm actually going to notice, I guess, these two guys. Yes, you do. Yeah, you happen to notice the two people that your tactile sensors picked up. They too are in cover and awaiting. Uh, is he in cover? Because he looks more exposed wow. to my line of sight. And because all that... sort of hiding behind a bulkhead or some piece of industrial okay. equipment. I'm just trying to find the easiest target to shoot. Yeah. Um. So I don't know who that is. Uh. I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jim, who is the easiest one I could shoot at? Or are they uh, all roughly the same? They're all roughly the same. It would be difficulty three to hit any of them. Okay. Then yeah, I'll, I'll try and shoot the nearest ones to me then. Okay, that'd be one of those guys. Okay. Uh, do you want to do a minor action to aim? Okay. Uh, nope, you moved. Okay, okay, that's fair. Uh... 
Ja. Uh, Starfleet tactical systems, no. Uh, energy, nope, 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 no. Mm. I don't think intruder protocol works with weapons. No, no it doesn't. But that one, you're their intruder. Damn, two. <laughs> uh, two successes. <laughs> Uh, your shot goes. Uh, your shot would have been fine if they hadn't hit, taken cover behind a bulkhead the second you pointed pointed the weapon at them. It mm. bounces, leaving a. What's interesting is that the silicate material takes the energy and sort of disperses it in a lightning bolt pattern across its surface, and it fades to nothing. Mm. Intriguing. Okay, so that is Demos's turn out of the way. Next up, I am going to have one of these guys go. And he is going to sort of saunter around cover and sees Demos, and he himself is also going to try to shoot. That Mr. Demos, he's already moved, so he does do that. 20. And it misses. Quite badly, actually. <laughs> he seems to be taking very careful aim not to hit the naked Vitars floating in a pool of amniotic fluid in f that you're hiding behind. This is their original cloning facility. Possibly. Anyways, that's uh, his turn. I don't have a clear line of sight on him, do I? Uh, probably not. You'd have to move further in. And I'm, I'm being a little uh, f you know, fluid with movement, so... So long as you just don't go sprinting across the entire chamber, that's fine. Well, I kind of wanted, wanted to aim with my Type 3 and see if I could hit him, no. but I... Yeah, sadly I... not. Uh, um, I'll go up to here and take so I'm behind Demos, but I can still do a line of sight shot. Way to follow the plan. And fire at this one with Arr. my Type 3. All right. There we go. Cool. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Security. Oh, if only physics worked. I mean, shooting is physics, but this doesn't quite work for this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and that's a complication. Uh, oh, so... God. <laughs> You know, uh, so, I said when you got my back, I didn't mean to actually shoot to my back. Oh, no. Uh, quite the opposite. Uh, Moore is so scared of shooting uh, Demos in the back uh, that his shot goes wide and punctures this tank. Uh, fluid begins spilling out foul spell smelling noxious stuff. Um, leave it, and a naked Vitar sort of flops down. Several cables attached to its uh, back of the head and the spine are the only thing keeping it up like a puppet hung from a coat hanger or a coat hook. That's an image. Yeah. No no strings on me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, that was fun. Uh, next guys go. The one who's been hiding will pop out here. And I wish there was a way to actually, you know, show you guys everything. That doesn't shared vision doesn't seem to be a thing that I found. I might leave feedback for roll twenty. Anyways, one sneaks out and attempts to shoot at Demos. After all, he is the big target. Shoot the big one first. One of these guys might actually hit. Well nope. he's a it's a hit. Um Based on where he is, uh, Demos doesn't. I don't think Demos would have cover against him, so it's a straight two shot. So he rolls damage. That is seven points of damage to you, Demos. Uh, Ouch. So that would Sorry. eat up your shield, I believe, and leave a bit bit of a scoring mark on your battle plate. Um, so your shield was four, correct? And then, what's your resistance on armor? Uh, it should be two. Okay. So, yeah, so one point gets by. Not much. It'll get better. So, that's that guy's turn. Uh, other guys. Um, Starfleet, you're up. 
Hmm. We took well, the targeting visor, didn't we? Yes, yep. we did. So Someone instead just... of taking a minor action to aim, you may take a standard action instead. Until the end of the combat round, everyone wearing the target visor gains the benefit of the aim action while wearing the target, attacking your targeting foes. Sounds like a good idea to use that. Yeah, actually, that's what I was just about to suggest. I was going to get into the room far enough and look for the first target that Demos was going after and aim use my use the visor to aim at him, effectively making me the aiming target. The I'm lazing the target. Yes. Okay, uh, move yourself to wherever you wish. And if you're using the phaser three, it has the accurate ability, which is if you take the if you have the aiming action, you get to reroll any number of d20s on your to hit roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is Hadrix's turn. Uh, so let's mark this individual. I will mark him with a red red dot. And then, uh, that is Hadrix's turn. Mark that as done. Except let's bring this guy around. Uh, so this guy is going to come up, take cover behind here. And he is just going to spend his turn hunkering down. That's his turn. Uh, Bashir, Nia, or Sunbay? Helsing. Hmm. Nope. Sure, I'll go. I feel like shooting things. <laughs> okay, so from the ones that I'm seeing on the map right now, what's the one with the red dot? That's mean? the one that is visible on your targeting visor. So you have you can shoot uh, it as if you have already aimed. Oh, neat. Yep. Uh, yeah, then I'll just go ahead and attempt to shoot him with my uh, Type 3. Okay. Actually, this seems like another time to... Uh... I'm going to use my Join Talent. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, to call on my past life of uh, Malkrenia. Who has a focus in energy weapons? Ah, Malkrenia. Cool. And what's Malkrenia's basic story? Uh, they. Let me find this here. Uh, they are essentially a soldier who fought in the Dominion War and uh was known for their efforts in saving those that they could and for their expert marksmanship. Fantastic. Okay. Yes. Malkin comes to the fore. Yeah. Um. Let. Let's see, okay, I'll be able to re-roll any of these anyway because of accurate. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, you have two momentum. Sure, let's get that third die going just to see what happens. He says before he rolls a complication. <laughs> There's the two you need. If you want to re-roll that other zero for you know an extra momentum. Sure. Let's see if let, let's crit a fish. Let's have fun. Well, oh, there's a crit. It's not a crit. It's not a crit because my oh. security's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that momentum comes back. So roll some challenge dice. And for type three, the base damage is four uh, plus security. Yeah, four plus security. Okay, so I that's so yes. So that's six. Uh, oh boy. Yep. Uh, let's spend a momentum to re-roll those threes. Four zeros. Jesus. Sure. Hey, there That's we go. Better. Wow. Wow. Okay, so uh, Nia struts his stuff, points between Demos and Hadrix, and zzz, when a blast later, this one is knocked unconscious. <laughs> so, he is out of the comp. He's out of the fight. Well shot, Nia. Well shot indeed. Huzzah. And now we have learned how broken the uh, targeting visor is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That's you're the one who made it. So. I know. So. <laughs> I, and I got some pretty good escalation out of that, so I'm okay with that. This one is going to be stupid. Step right into the open 
and he is going to attack Hadrix. Let's see wow he does Focus. none of us have quick action oh Ooh, geez. that is oh nice. jesus so oh housing hit you have quick action roger yep he, it's like he's built for this sort of stuff uh so that's I mean, three successes so i wish i gained momentum the way you did but i don't so okay so that is five points of damage. Um, I believe you're shielded, correct, Hadrix? Yep. So that that's two gone immediately. So that is three. And you have body armor? I think so with, we all, with everything we all got. Right. Yep. Yeah, we're all in combat armor. Hmm. Which would make this... Um, yeah, so that's only one point of damage that makes it through. Uh, your shields spark, then your body armor singes, and you feel something graze the side, or graze your side. But it's not enough to stop you. You're a Tellarite on a mission. You mean Talaxian. Or Talaxian, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Close enough. I mean... You're Talaxian on a mission. Uh, Captain or I can Captain. always show up randomly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nope. 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 See that and side of space? Man. You're way over there. Okay. Um, Bashir or Helsing? This is your mission. <laughs> if, if you go and move and then target, you can get the benefit of the next target. Yeah. Use that targeting visor. Just okay. saying. I had other plans, but I will happily per give you a uh, targeting visor. <laughs> All right. Um, Captain, move yourself and aim at whichever target you want. Corridor is getting crowded. <laughs> yes, it is. We're all hiding behind Demo. Yeah, you hide behind. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You just crawl over it. <laughs> ah. Getting in between. Uh, I'm not going to finish that thought. Anyways, uh, which one are you pointing at? Um, does that work? Why am I not pinging? Uh. Ah, this one. This one here. The. Okay, and I will mark him in red. I said I will mark him in red. There we go. I'm assuming you don't want to aim at him anymore. So, there we go. He is aimed. And now, that's the captain's turn done. Oh, I'm running out of guys. Well, that's okay. Oh, well. Oh, look, it's the one guy that hasn't done anything. He is going to wander around here. Well, the captain is exposed. So, let's see what happens to the captain. Story of my life. And this is why Step. I left intelligence. The yeah. bathroom, man. You gotta tie it tight. <laughs> wow, that shot goes horrendously wide. Okay, uh, Helsing, you're up. All right, I try to work my way through. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. There. Stop there. And we will target Mr. Boogerface there. Go for it. Let's have a shot. Too many buttons to click. Oi! Oh, no, you, you you have the benefit of an aim, and I believe your weapon is accurate. That is correct. As much as so, I like that, you know. We'll re-roll that one. Yeah, I figured you would. <clears throat> uh, 
And you get one momentum. Woohoo. All right. Roll me some challenge dice, please. We'll go with nine challenge dice. That's a significant amount. And you do you have a type three? Oh, yes. Yep. Six. And we'll spend one of those momentum to re-roll those zeros. Oh, you don't have to. Uh, okay. Can I, can I tell that he's knocked out? Oh, no. Yeah, they, they're wearing body armor, so they will resist a bit. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go ahead and re-roll those five. Okay. Eh, two more. Uh, two more. But that's enough. He goes nighty night and slumps to the floor. I believe. And I'll pop quick to action if it ever comes down to it. Okay. Uh, which is a good thing because it would be my turn to start first, but you're doing quick to action? Sure. So, uh, good guys get to go first again. No, we just get another round. Uh, Isn't it? We just get, uh, instead of, it's retain the initiative. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that, re right. yeah, you retain the initiative, sorry. So, yep, yeah. what do you wish, who wishes to uh, take the initiative? Um, I'll go ahead and shoot first, and I'll do minor action to charge. Okay. And I'll do, do it for area. Ah, um, so Ariel would get um, these two. Okay. But they would not get any, you know. There's only one more in there, right? Yes, uh, there are a grand total of three in this room. Nope. Nope. Something. Yeah. yeah. Something diffuses your uh, laser or your phaser burst a little too much, and they sort of just shrug it off as if they've been scanned. So that was. Uh, where's Helsing? There's Helsing. Okay. Next up is mine, which is going to be this guy who comes down the hallway behind you you know like demos warned you people about but you chose not to listen uh so he's going to move in and he's going to shoot at jaren what people are listening to the security officer that's never happened before and i almost went up that way to come back around the around the flank i knew i should have yeah well well that's a hit on nia uh, that would be seven damage, so two on your shield, two on your bla on your body armor. So you take three points of stress. That was fun. Okay, uh, that's my turn. Who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go next. Okay. Uh, I'm unholstering the TR-125. Sure. <laughs> and uh, that guy that just uh, shot Nia. Mm hmm Going to shoot him. Okay. Uh, so minor action to aim. I'm assuming, are yeah. you using the teleporting beacon or? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm going to be shooting through Nia ah, if I yes. don't. <laughs> okay. So that's a minor action to aim. And then it's a control engineering test instead of control security. Uh, so it says may use. I'm assuming uh, that I it's either or. Um, sorry, I should say must use because you're basically configuring a transporter. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. The, yeah, that's my that's a bad wording choice on my part. Sorry. No worries. Yep. Uh, I'm going to take that momentum for a third dice. Cool. Yeah. Uh, no focuses. Well, that's the two successes you need, so roll some damage. Uh, can we do, take a look at that there? Now, that is... um, are, I should ask, are you doing lethal or non? Because lethal would hit, but non-lethal would not. 
my priority is to get the Starfleet first out, okay. and the quickest way to do that is to drop him. Gotcha. So that would be giving me one point of threat for lethal. That's fine. Yep. And that is based off of my security, right? So three uh, challenge dice plus yep. my security. Mm-hmm. That's eight. G. Oh, and with a vicious one too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's eight. Uh, well, uh, so Nia, by the time you wonder who the heck shot you, you quickly whip around uh, to just see a headless body crumple to the ground. I'm just going to look at the rest of them. Uh, the other Vitars and <laughs> with open calm say, who's next? I guess uh, he had to step away. He looks like he's muted. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ha. Oh, I, uh, I've been here. I just didn't realize I was muted. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So uh, you got shot in the back. Uh, he's to blame, yep. but Demos killed him, so you don't have to. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay. That was fun. I like this. I like some of these new toys. <laughs> I say that is the GM. Okay. Um, <laughs> who's down? Let's see. He's down for the count. Uh, let's remove him from turn order. We got one. Yeah. Two, I'm just trying three. to find them in the turn order. Um, that one's also down. This one. This one's nice and close. Uh, I wish that he, I, uh, he had a weapon that was capable of area effect, but it does not. Um, so he's going to, once again, shoot at the giant thing with the giant gun. Yeah. As he does so, he shouts, For Cager! For the future of the Vitars! Because now seems like a good time for a battle cry. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> nope. yeah. Not that good. Nope. Uh, it does not have the effect that he wants. Um... He sort of goes, yeep. For, for Cager, for the future of the Vitaurus people. <laughs> hey -ya! Uh, hey -ya! All right. Yeah, yeah. Who's next? Oh, I'll take my shot. Go for it. I think I will go right after... Well, I'll go for our little one right probably here. Go for it. Take your shot. And survey says... Uh, would combat tactics be a good focus? I'd prefer energy weapons or ranged weapons. Um, I'll still take way, it. Either way, that's perfect. Roll some damage. Six, di six dice. Or six I'll damage. take it. Yeah. Okay, and that was to this guy here? Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, like close range, too. <laughs> yes, that is close range. I don't think there's uh, additional damage for close range. And his body armor absorbs uh, some of it. So he's actually still up. He's not looking... He's looking a bit dazed, but he's still standing. So, uh, whose turn is it next? It is this guy. Who is going to, once again... Uh, he is going to back up behind cover. And then he's going to shoot. Where'd my bloody macro go? There it is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, so that's he a complication. Uh, his his pistol blows up. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking. Um, so there's no not even a whine to this. Um, it blows up, uh, shattering this um, pod in the process. Mm -hmm. 
and it deals 7 points of damage, basically burning through his suit and causing an injury. He's still alive, but he's knocked unconscious. And suffering severe burns on most of his body. Next up. Uh, sure. I can go. Oh, so okay. if we have just the one left, am I looking at this one right. and this one? Yep, there's two left. I. That's a very. I'm like right at that edge where. I could have good line of sight or not good line of sight. Um, I should mention that that pod is broken, so there's no that this doesn't oh. count for cover anymore. Oh, okay. Then I have line of sight, so I'm you gonna <laughs> I'm gonna um, aim and shoot with my type three. Okay. Take the shot, kid. Take the shot. Sure. So Take the know. shot. Anybody opposed of me using a, the third or the momentum for a third? Sure. Go for it. Go for it, man. Good thing you did. I'm very happy I did that. Yeah. Uh, it is inaccurate, so you could reroll one of those zeros. Well, any one of those dice, really, but. I'll reroll the zero. Okay. Yeah, okay. There's that momentum right back. Uh, roll some challenge dice, please. Uh, that would be six, or no, seven challenge dice. Ooh, uh, momentum. Should we use the momentum to reroll those zeros? <laughs> yeah, we gotta get them down. That's a much better roll. <laughs> That's nine damage total. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so he slumps unconscious and falls on top of the cable's that are suspending the uh, naked uh, pod person. Because I think it is unsettling and awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, I have run out of people to actually do anything with. So. Nia. Nia, you're up. Yes. Nia, Hadr Nia Hadrix. And I th think that's everyone. Oh, bugger all. You forgot the most important character, though. Oh, Midas. Midas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he quakes oh. in his boots, if he had any. Oh, I will try and pew-pew at the last one. Oh, yeah, and the captain. I forgot about the captain. Okay, pew-pew, Nia. Pew-pew. Pew. Turtle security. 2d20 and a focus no uh, it's nope. more like a pew puff yep <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah your shot goes wide as he ducks behind the wall uh he may be the last one here but he's not going to go down without a fight uh captain or hadrix i believe Hedrix, please. Oh, no, I already went. Someone oh, ordered did. me to punch this man. <laughs> oh, okay, then, Captain, I guess you're up. I guess so. Um, I don't think I have much of a line of sight on that last guy, so I'm going to have to move. <clears throat> Come on, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. And fire. Take your shot. Make with the pew pew. <laughs> or is it control security? Uh, control security, yep. This will be fun. Actually, what is your security? Oh. <laughs> uh, he traded it for the command. Security is two. Wait, it's I two? Never had, yeah. Oh, wait, we don't have a momentum. Never mind. Yeah. No, we don't. That's why I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. Unless I can use science or command in some way. <laughs> no, this isn't the Martian where you can science the shit out of things. <clears throat> but that is my thing. <laughs> I always science the shit out of things. 
True. Uh, no focus. Not this part, though. Still, some some skills just never go away as you uh, connect. Obviously. Uh, six challenge dice, please. Okay, that's five. But he's already taken damage already, hasn't he? Yes, he has. So that is enough to knock him down. And he goes nighty night. And for the moment, combat is over. Okay, I immediately am pulling out my track order as soon as and he scanning, drops. And scanning, scanning the tubes. Uh-huh, because I was you <laughs> yeah. were and I are on the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like to say, wait a second. Okay. Yeah, the guys that are totally against cloning, these seem like cloning cylinders to me. <laughs> Funny how that works. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm walking up to all the unconscious people, tag them so we can teleport them out. Ooh. Okay. There's still one more. Oh. Oh. Whoops. There's a couple more in there. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, we haven't gone in that room yet. So yes, you haven't. You haven't gone in that room yet. There might be people just, you know, waiting for their time to strike. I'm but... scanning this tube that's still intact. Okay. Uh, as you scan the tube that's still intact, I'm just going to get these bodies out of here so that they are... So... Uh, they are... It is indeed a cloning facility. Uh, amniotic stem cell style fluid that can be morphed, molded into whatever is needed. And what is interesting is the figure inside. It appears to be that, or at least one of the forms of Imperator Japler the Final. Mm. No way. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, is this just where they're making the bodies? Can they still put the the, the engram of the of the of the person into it, or? Is it a true clone that oh, comes? That's a good question. To be determined. I'm going to science it. I'm going to hit a science in it. <laughs> okay. Um, a... Yeah, jerks. Sorry, I think I cut off someone. Uh, Hadrix, can I borrow your compression rifle, please? <laughs> I'm using a faith type 3, but sure. Sure. Yeah, I'll trade you. and we'll hand, I'll hand him off the TR for now. Ooh. <laughs> it doesn't have a stun, so aim for the head. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'm just gonna, not to like push us to the next combat. I'm just gonna head over here with both of them in my hands. Are you going full Rambo? Possible intimidation. I'm just gonna or wait for when everyone else is done with their stuff before I want to do what I want to do. Fair. Um, yes. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Uh, a quick look through a couple of the other ter other uh, pods. Uh, you notice one would have uh, her in it. Archminister, Archminister yeah, Favis yeah, yeah. or Cavis. Oh, uh, I have ideas. Several yeah. individuals who you're not, who you don't recognize off the top of your heads, but also one that would appear to be that of Director Fomo, which is very weird because you seem to remember him. Actually, no, none of you guys were. Oh, well, Demos remembers yeah. that he made had made eh, that he mentioned that he's not actually part of this uh, process. But then again, he could have been lying or just a downright hypocrite. So who knows? This gives me weird six day vibes. I Ooh. have. Can. Can I date how old the clone is? Um, yes. Um, that would be a medical test. Oh, God. Uh, we can try. <laughs> reason plus medicine, uh, difficulty two. And if you had any sort of, you know, medical focuses, that would work. And reverse engineering is not a medical focus. <laughs> I have sensor operations. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Computers? No. <laughs> Computers could work I, in other aspects, but not this one. Let me try. I have medical. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, well, I mean, I was shooting for 12, so uh, I'm more than half, but no focus. Uh, 
Um, I have Xenobiology and can, uh, a 13, so... Close enough. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You're probably a little bit better than me. Reason is surprisingly my power stat for attributes. You just know you're just a very logical individual, able to logic a Vulcan under the table. Bring okay. it on. Ah. All right. Let's keep. I know we're dragging on, and I apologize. But as long as you guys are having fun and not snoring, I want to finish this up because, <laughs> well, you know, we're not going to be able to do this for a little while. Because Christmas is coming. Yeah, Christmas. Okay. Good <laughs> Lord, Christmas. Yeah. Ooh, there you go, Bashir. There you go. Uh, so that's one momentum. Uh, so the clone is actually pretty fresh. Um, it's hard to tell 100%, but it's at, the body is roughly a week to 11 days old. He's right. so fresh, he wears the hat with the tags on it still. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, and now technically, how? when was the big coup across the sector? Roughly 11 days ago. Okay right before that okay fair enough mm -hmm. all right fair enough yeah. um, my thoughts my my thoughts both in character and out of character is they were trying to clone these people to switch over. out the real for the mm -hmm. clone to infiltrate that's why i wanted to date because if they were older we could say well these are the original bodies of they like this could be where the batars came from the ship and they inhabited planets nearby mm. i should make mention that the cloning facility is much newer than the ship okay uh, sorry if yeah. i probably hadn't make, made a mention of it but this area of the ship had been torn out and this has been installed in it i kind of figured it wasn't thousands of years old no, <laughs> no this is very much a, a rehabited <laughs> A repurposed ship. Please don't die on me, Captain. Sorry. Yeah. And this is all Vitarse technology. It is, yes. Helsing, do you have uh, those transmitters? Okay, I basically, let's beam these bodies to the ship. Got a string of them on my belt. We'll just slap them on. Okay. Just like discus. No, <laughs> fing, fing, fing. One by one, the bodies uh, using your transporter relay up above as a chain effect, the bodies one by one dematerialize and uh, the both the medical doctor and the chief engineer report that they have received them. And, oh my god, they're still slimy. And they might look like the leadership of the Votar's homeworld. They are not. They're fresh clones. Mm -hmm. Very well. So, lock them up. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Demos and Helsing are heading down south, and it's not for to see my Sal. Man, we're really making use of that past the red line thing I did for those transporters, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Also, anybody who took uh, damage on their personal shield? Yep. By now, they have recovered. Nice. Okay, uh, Demos is heading down and because you've given me escalation these guys have a surprise ready assuming any <laughs> survived the first assault that is um, um um would you say a pulse grenade would be effective at this at this juncture sure do you have one but of course i have several i'll take a couple um Open the door and toss one in. All right. Uh, daring security, please. Oh, I, before he oh. opens the door, I, I want to look at that door. How durable? Is it like a blast door or is it like the conference room doors on a starship? Or like the ones oh, we've always this, seen. Um, this is a very much a Vitars door that has been slung in place uh, over a larger cavern door. So it's so, definitely a flimsier door. Okay. So it's just the one door then? Yep. Okay. I'm just going to grab the grenades. Like, ready? 
I have an idea. Yes? It's called the mail slot. And I'm just going to pull the pin and I'm going to shove my fist through the door and let go of the grenade. <laughs> Daring plus security, please. I don't want them to see. <laughs> this will be a difficulty of two. Uh, Watch him not be able to punch through the door and just... <laughs> please roll a complication. Please roll a complication. Oh, that's just mean. I, I, I want it to happen just for the just for the sheer laughter I would get out of it. Oh, I'm taking that momentum for an extra dice. Okay. Blame you. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Uh, no available focuses. Oh! <laughs> okay. Mm. 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 So I know I used my milestone Ask earlier him. for the shield thing, but I still have a determination. I believe you do, yes. Uh, let's see. No one will stand between me and those who I am to protect. Not even a door? <laughs> Not even a door. Okay. <laughs> we roll those zeros. Start Yay. with the worst enemy. A door. <laughs> Ad adventurer's worst enemy. Door. <laughs> Actually, it's a mimic pretending to be a door, but yes. <laughs> ha -ha! Okay, so you get uh, one momentum, and they get a Christmas present. Um, I'm oh, not oh, oh. entirely certain how much damage grenades do. Let's call it five. Four. Four? Okay. Yeah, the other four. All right. Uh, Demos, roll me four challenge dice, please. Just a base four? It doesn't stack off my anything else? It I guess with, not. It goes with your security. Okay. Oh. So nine, then, please. <laughs> Boop. Hmm. Well, remember that one momentum you got. Yes. I do, and I remember how I spent it every roll zero. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. No, you no, you spent your determination to re-roll the zeros. You no, no, I'm saying for these zeros. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I mean, it's enough for an injury at least. Yeah. And it'll take out two people because mm. of the effect. Yeah. Um. Sad news is that they're still wearing body armor, which absorbs two. So, yeah, they are dazed, but they're still functional. Uh, yeah, so remember the uh, mail slot. Um, someone looks through it, and a rifle comes out. No, actually, I gave because you have escalation, they're going to send one right back at you. Mm, mm. So, let's roll. That's a daring security. <coughs> Pardon me. Security. Mm, well, they send it out, but they don't. Uh, you and Helsing both see what the heck is coming and dive away as it takes a bad bounce off of this uh, cloning pod and just sort of detonates harmlessly uh, close to this pod. Uh, Nia, you're covered in green. St you're covered in a green sticky fluid. Oh God! Oh God! Uh, <laughs> like Peter it. Venkman from it. Ghostbusters. Yes, you got slimed. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, um, good guy's turn. So Helsing, Captain. Yeah, I'll go back and put it. We'll go back through the same hole and do the mail slot. I thought it was such a cool idea. All right, daring security, please. <laughs> like you're not trading fire, you're just throwing grenades through a hole. <laughs> Canagram for Mongo. <laughs> I'm uh, so glad we're keeping these people. Oh no! no. Oh god! <laughs> okay, see the difference between you and me is I have a metal hand. It's <laughs> <laughs> in the same hole. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's what happens that's when a... you re use a hole. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, God. I understand if my fist was bigger than his fist, but it's not. <laughs> um, roll challenge dice, please. Boy. You don't have anything to re-roll, do you? Well, I'm trying to I imagine my... this is like... 
but I don't have one that would duty before all else. I mean, you don't want to die. Honestly, duty before all else means you take the grenade to save Demos. Yeah. 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 Oh. Ouch. Oh. <sighs> so okay. we dead. So, so we dead. Uh, this is a f- pulse grenade. Um, yep. It does non-lethal, correct? Right. So, yeah. So the last thing that the two of you see and wonder is, wow, that guy has... Maybe we should not have done the same trick twice. As there is a dazzling light show, the two of you see nothing but white light. Midas goes into alert mode. Um, The rest of you are drawn to the uh, attention of two unconscious Starfleet officers. Um, Covered in green goo. Yeah. Uh, Covered in green goo and on the floor. As the doors open, and two Vitars show out with their guns drawn. And once again, we are in initiative. Good guys go first. Mm. Captain, fire! Wait. Yeah. Wait. I'm going to go first. Wait. No, wait. Okay. Hang on. Nia has an idea. I would like to use... Uh, well, I'm first, I'm going to use my minor action to move. Okay. I'm going to get, like, this pod here. For my action, I would like to use my uh, my visor mm-hmm. so I can aim at, I'll say the one closest to the captain, the one on the left there. Gotcha. Okay. He is, he is red dotted. Captain use area. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the, the one that was red dotted is going to try to take a shot at the captain. Uh, nope. Two D twenty. And we'll miss horribly. Ooh. Um, Captain Moore or Hadrix, care to respond? Yes, very no. much so. Because very these much. two are out, if we use area, will they get affected by it? Or oh, they're just fuck. I didn't think no, about that. They would I don't wanna oh, okay. okay. Uh, that's I wanted to double check before we did area because if area would be nice because they're right the, they're right next to each other we can just kind of the mouth. Um, they're already. But I didn't want to do that. Can't stun them more. So, yeah. If you target the one that's already targeted, you get the aim bonus, but you can also still mm-hmm. charge your phaser to get the area. Mm-hmm. I'm take I'm taking a shot at the one that's already been targeted. Okay, take your shot, Captain. Well, it's a good thing you're aiming. Mm. Reroll that zero. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. Well, sadly, you are so shocked by uh, the crewmen's going down and everything just changing yeah. at once. You're, j- you know. Shot goes wide. And now it's the Could other they wake... Nope. Could they wake us up? I don't think it Can't works work that way. No, they... God. Once you're out of combat, you're kind of out of combat until... You know, end of combat. End of combat. All right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you can't wake up, grab them by the ankles, and then swing them around like a... Well, if yeah. we were demos, we could, but... Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That is seven plus. Nope. Um, the other one doesn't go. The other one stumbles over Helsing's unconscious form, and the shot goes yeah. wide. Hadrix or Moore? Hadrix, you have the better shot. I'm behind the vat, so I still I'd have to move around. Gotcha. And yeah, since I've got um, Demos's um, TR125, I'm gonna take a shot at it. Ooh, lethal after or moving. Not- Oh, lethal, lethal, of course. Okay. Cool. Take a shot. Lethal. Now, are are you using the transporter or are you just taking the straight shot? Just taking the straight shot because the engineering's not going to do it for me. Fair. Good shot. Hey, That's go. two. 
Roll your damage. Mm, not great damage, but eh, not, take not, it. Not great damage. Uh, let's see. But because they were already damaged by the f stun grenade, and that is just enough to get through his body armor. Uh, he goes down with an injury. So he's not dead, just out cold. <clears throat> uh, leaving you with one person. Uh, Moore, you're up. I'm going to move. I don't know why I'm not selecting it. I'm going to move here. Okay. And try to shoot with my type 3. <laughs> gotcha. Take your shot. Oh. Curious. Yeah. Oh! Nice. And that's uh, a 7. Uh, seven challenge I dice, please. Shoot that. Ooh, wunderbar. Nice. All those uh, long nights with Legos are really paying off. <laughs> in multiple ways. Yeah, I still haven't uh, gotten to use the whip. Yeah, maybe maybe the next one's so close to melee range. Okay, and he goes out cold. Ah, should have brought a combat medic. Oh well. Well, that's where I'm going. I'm gonna see what I can do with my medicine, and I'm gonna call Neo over. Just see oh. if he can take a look at Deimos. Uh, okay, sure. I'm going to walk over you guys and go into this room. Uh, Midas immediately bumps into Neo, just like no. trying to shoo him away. No. Yes. My friend, not yours. My friend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Midas will work on Deimos. Yeah. Uh, so, Boar, what you see in here are a series of tools that are way more advanced than what Vitars typically have. Um, can, can I so, scan them and see if they ping anything that we are familiar with? Absolutely. Uh, insight plus... Uh, nope. Reason plus science. And this is going to be a difficulty zero test because really your tricorder will tell you what they are immediately. Okay. Computers uh, or sensors operation? Uh, computers in this instance. You had one really? <laughs> hey, I, I succeeded and got a momentum, but really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as Demos wakes up, um, I'm not entirely sure what your what it looks like from your side when you come out of a forced unconscious state. Um, but I imagine it's something to be like a grainy television signal <laughs> coming into focus. But you can tell me otherwise. I like to imagine like when he's like starts coming up and like waking up and stuff like that. There, he's like, you know, when you have like uh, the old five twelve or the two fifty six modem mm -hmm. uh, voice chat. Like <laughs> oh, his no. his voice is slowly kicking back in. Like everything's just starting back up. <laughs> and he just shakes his head as he sounds like no treble, no bass. It's just really tanky. <laughs> he's like, what is to happen? What? Uh, um... Who's the... Did a grenade bounce back at us? Yes. As I was throwing it in, he put his butt up to the hole and it bounced back. Uh, I don't think I saw a butt against that hole. <laughs> Trust me, my fist. It, 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 I'm not going to say I fisted it, but it, yeah. It was, you yeah. know what you're saying? You fisted the hole. <laughs> You, uh, I said I didn't want to say that, but yeah, but you did. <laughs> uh, Y'all are awesome. Uh, meanwhile, Moore, you're coming upon uh, several tools uh, used in advanced communication technology, most notably quantum uh, paired um, communication devices, and the tools needed to accurately create and synchronize the quantum bits to ensure a private and secure uh, and encrypted communication. But anyways, yeah, so that's what you see. Is that link being used or has been used recently? Uh, no, these, these are like um, earbuds, earbuds, not gotcha, gotcha. a master control system.
Uh, more you also see a hallway slightly to your left that will lead down another flight of stairs. I found the flight of stairs to the lower level. So, All right. Demo and myself, how much damage do we still retain? Um, I think you would have taken enough to stun yourself. So yeah, the so definitely because five I would have total. taken seven stress. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, how much stress, sorry? Um, let's see, it was 11 to begin with, so... Yeah, two, two for the shield, two for the armor, so seven would have gone yeah. through. Seven, seven would have gone through. Uh, Demos, you had more powerful shields, but that would have still been five for you. Okay. Yep. Just enough to take you both out of the game for some funsies. I mean... <clears throat> <laughs> Anyways, oh, we're only on level two. <laughs> yeah. Man. Good news, pulse grenades do work. So, bad news, uh, Helsing doesn't play baseball. Well, he might don't play tell. Uh... Uh... Okay. All right. Let's round up. Head okay. down the stairs. Okay. Head out. Head down the stairs. So, uh, as you delve further deeper into the station, um, I'm going to spend two more threats to add the complication that you lose that communications to the ship cut out due to uh, the interference of the ship itself. So you can no longer contact the USS Black Shield. Poop poop. Quite. And you all materialize. Or not materialize. Come down to. Yep. In a room. Now, as you descend, uh, uh, you can see that this was at one point a large open space that has been subdivided into rooms based on are utilizing Vitar's technology and standard building structures. On the way down, I'm gearing back Hadrix's Type 3 and I'm taking back my TUR 125. There you go. All right. Smart choice. So, what do you wish to do now, guys? saying you're in charge all righty let's i can't move my my token oh no oh yeah you're caught in the line sorry there try now thank you <laughs> all right another hallway Oh, I, I just I accidentally selected Nia, not myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to the south of Nia, uh, you see a... It appears to be both a kitchen and a fabrication shop, all in one. It's probably not food safe certifiable. Large pots containing, hopefully, stew uh, are alongside large um, flasks of uh, oils... Um, unjoints, lubricants, that sort of stuff. And Nia, you're and you can, oh, knowing what to look for, you're already seeing components of a Romulan nature. Hey, uh, looks like we got some Romulan parts, maybe. Well, that doesn't sound very appetizing. Right, yeah. Uh, all right. Works as parts. So, rhyme with the parts. All right. <laughs> After you, Nia. Go through the door. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I see you placing tokens, McCall. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not subtle. Just moving them between layers, you know. Uh, so, yep, more you've come into the... Um, so, more they should not have this. They should not have this in this certain condition at all. Um, this uh, equipment here is a singular Romulan... Um, girl and I've I was going to be dramatic I forgot. Core? yes thank you singularity core aka a miniature black hole oh shit <laughs> there is nowhere near enough safety parameters in place uh we have we have open comms between our our suits right uh yes we you can, can talk. talk you can talk amongst each other I just say you just hear me drop the or just flat out say shit <laughs> Through the, through the comms. Um, we have a singularity core in this room. It's probably not safe for the food. <laughs> really? You're, you're, you're th thinking about food, Captain? <laughs> yeah. That Romulan will look pretty good. Anywho, what does that mean? And what that means is we have a miniature black hole sitting in this room with no safety precautions that if looked at the wrong way could cause the entire thing to go into a black hole the entire ship at this point I'm assuming this is what's powering the place most likely given the amount of power conduits coming from it, it's not an unreasonable assumption. Can I power it down? Uh, that will be uh, probably daring plus engineering. And a minor say, act of science. <laughs> and I say that because just as you begin to realize that, uh, several Vitars are going to pop out from where they've been hiding just hear me say, we have incoming! <laughs> and once again, we're in combat. So, good guys go first. Uh, uh, charge for area effect and fire? Yeah, go for it. Um, I'm using the momentum we have for a third die. Sure. Oh my god. Oh okay. Boy. Um we're gonna challenge a value now. Oh which one are you <laughs> challenging? Actually, we don't necessarily need challenge because I have saved milestones. I could use a saved milestone for a, yep. a determination. You could before I have to challenge. Uh, um, also the captain can give you his determination. That always seems to be something people forget. I have at least nine milestones that I know of Fair. saved up. So I might as well um use the I've got this and <laughs> reroll my zero. <laughs> oh, I was that so is... looking forward to having a uh, complication this close to a quantum singularity. I mean, I can also <laughs> there's always something new to discover, and I really don't want to discover the thing that could be done. <laughs> uh, okay, reroll that again. Hey! Okay. <laughs> so your your uh, phaser rifle begins to emit a uh, high pitched whine. Which you fix by uh, doing that one trick uh, Legos taught you by slapping it hard on its left side, just slightly below the aiming reticule, which <laughs> realigns its uh, power distribution matrix and sends a beam directly through these individuals, who, uh, because they weren't actually wearing their body armor, are all stunned. <laughs> Actually, I, think I just hit it and it like goes off in my hand without yeah, me even so... necessarily meaning to, and they all just go poof. Yeah, so three effects means that's three additional targets. So yeah. Crap! <laughs> did you squeal when you did the shot? Yes. Your big surprise. <laughs> and Nia just turns around and looks at me. <laughs> at this point, Nia's just going to sort of yell out. All right. Any more of you? 
Well, uh, considering we're still in initiative, yes. Love that. <laughs> this one is going to move and toss a grenade. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Daring plus security. And unlike you take the rifle like, like a bat. Yes. Bat it. Ready, two. It misses, sadly. But and not so badly that it, you know, would threaten the core. It bounces. It like... yeah. Oh, God. Uh, so what it does is it lands in a pot of soup. It <laughs> blows up. Nia, you're now covered in soup. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting, getting covered in so many liquids tonight. Jesus. I mean, Lord, I don't have, no soup uh, for you. Yeah, I mean, I don't have uh, Zach's beard to catch on fire, so I have to make someone the point of comic relief and... Sorry, you know what? Just, That's it's, fair. It's just your turn. <laughs> Some people pay good money to get covered in slime like that. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> called anybody going to a Gallagher concert. A Nickelodeon? I I have no idea what you're talking about, so we're just going to carry on and how you know oh, that. Geez. So, okay. Um, good guys get to go, so Nia or anyone else care to respond? I'll, I'll go. Okay. Because now I'm mad. <laughs> Um, minor action to aim, mm -hmm. then I shall give you a threat for a my for an extra minor action. Okay. Uh, to charge and give it vicious one. <laughs> okay. And then I shall just attempt to fire. I'll give you a threat for an extra d20. Oh, okay. Focus, yeah. Ooh. Well, there's uh, three successes, so one momentum. Huzzah! And you're, it is accurate, so I guess you could re-roll that zero if you want. Mm -hmm. Not gonna risk it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so roll me some challenge dice. That's six. So that is seven because I charge it for oh, vicious right. one. Right, and he goes, he goes down, and his he his head makes a weird sound as it thocks against a uh, a side counter. Uh, it's at this what? point that the uh, that uh, the bass's speaker. Uh, don't go that far ahead. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, as the firefight uh, goes down and you tend to the uh, uh, wounded with a stunned <clears throat> uh, the transporter tags sadly don't work this far down but you do try uh, the intercom comes alive I am assuming that this is that you are not Vitaris therefore you are Starfleet I am Cager I wish to negotiate my surrender and exchange for the hostages. Whichever one of you is in command, identify yourself. That will come later. What are your terms? I am prepared to surrender the hostages, return them to you. No more have no more have been harmed since the initial transference. In exchange, I wish to surrender. Good internal comms, um, Captain. That kind of hits our mission objective. We get him and the hostages. I agree. You want me to negotiate this? And you know what? Uh, because Dude. pretty much combat is said and done, I am turning dynamic lighting off because I hate it. There. You are the senior ranking. Greetings. I am Captain Bashir. 
Where should we meet? Uh, just head down the main hallway. <laughs> I am waiting. And your guards are stand down? I promise that I will not harm you or the prisoners. All right, we had. All right. There's a few of the prisoners in the back here. <clears throat> And to, true to his word, the over-soldier standing guard is, he has his weapon sort of just pointing down, finger off the trigger, but still in his hand. It helps if I push the button if I'm, if I'm on push to talk. Uh, yes, okay. yes it would. Um, I kind of wave the other ones to follow me and I wave the over-soldier to head forward. He'll fall back. <clears throat> As Helsing moves up, Cager goes, ah, you must be Captain Bashir? Nope. Oh. Well, that's my bad. He's having, he's try, he's having trouble moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. The dynamic Trying. lighting is still there. You have to yeah. sort of move him down the hallway. I was going to say, hallway. he's he's really having trouble getting there. There he is. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Captain Bashir. I am Cree. I am Cager of the OVA. So, the fact that you are here tells me that you, Starfleet has once again continued to remain neutral in our in the Vitar civil war let me tell you something we have the founding our, our founding principles is not interfering we are to here to explore and to investigate this area of space your political matters as much as we are interested in your species are not our problem by trying to join one side or the other breaks every principle that is Starfleet. I see. Well, as a man of principles myself, I applaud you for having your own and having the gumption to stick to them, despite having all the technical super the technical superiority to claim otherwise should you so wish still I must admit that it is well and he takes a step back it is unfortunate that Starfleet has once again decided to remain neutral in the Vitar Civil War it is also uh, my hope that Starfleet will at least use this opportunity. Uh, it is my hope that both sides will at least use this opportunity to cease throwing away the lives of their soldiers now that they are unre unre ah, that they cannot re be reborn anew the next day after their life has been thrown away. That is, after all, the goal of the OVA, should our, despite our violent intentions and I understand fully that by this act I am at Starfleet's mercy however I would prefer your mercy over that of either side of the state well uh, what? Moore, uh, Moore and Nia uh, Moore can you please do me an insight science Nia please do me an insight engineering Okay. Um, if you have power systems or um, communications, those would be good focuses to have. I have neither. Uh, difficulty okay. of one, I should say. Oh, okay. Okay. That's that's good. Computers or sensors, but that's about as far as I got. Yeah, sorry. Neither of those. Hey, I got it. Both of you did. Okay. Uh, Moore, you realize that there is a significant amount of power flowing from 
or not flowing from, yeah, sorry, flowing from the singularity to a room that is behind Cager. Uh, Nia, you realize the same thing, and the both of you quickly exchange tricorder readings with one another and come to the unspoken conclusion that there is a powerful communications array behind it. I will bleep to Commander Housing uh, communication, internal communications as suit. There's a communication device of some sort behind the room that you're in. Yeah. It's uh, pulling a lot of power. Uh, at this point, Cager says, uh, continues to speak unabatedly. However, at this point, I also would like to sh show to the Vitars both sides. As, as he's talking, I tell Nia, can you block any transmission coming out of this room? Uh, I can try. Uh, that is going to be a difficulty four because it's all hardwired. Uh, but Derek oh, plus engineering. This. <laughs> this is made for Nia. Uh, uh, as uh, um, as is this, I'm, sorry, is this all technically Vitar's technology? Yes, it is. No, it was, I thought it was Romulan. Well, I mean, some of the parts you're seeing were Romulan. Oh, yeah. The communications array is definitely Vitar's. So, alien technology is a focus? Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, I don't really... Ha Man, I can't hack this thing, and this is what upsets me. <laughs> um, I'll do a momentum for a third die, and then I will give you two threat for a fourth. Okay. I'm going to spend those that two threat immediately to uh, increase complication range 18 to 20. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Anytime, man. Anytime. <laughs> All right, here we go. Turns Ooh. out I didn't need to. Uh, so I got the successes, but there's also a complication. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so unbeknownst to any of you, um, Kager goes into his final monologue. However, I would like to make both sides known that Starfleet is no longer should no longer be seen as this invincible party. They can be outsmarted. They can be beaten. The OVA has proven this with a scant amount of resources compared to what either side of you could bring. So, I am putting it out there at that point. I am putting it out there. Oh, damn it! Whoopsie. Pulls out a data slate. I had this monologue prepared and everything. And you jam my transmission. Yeah. We're not going to let you get any free publicity off of this. Come. He's... He drops, every, he drops everything and motions to his guards to do the same. They obey. You'll find your prisoners in the cavern just just up north just north of here. He points through a closed barred door that leads to a a cavern that's much larger than is actually indicated on this map. Commander Demos, can you go check that out? Roger. <clears throat> and I'll gather up the oval weapons. Move them far away from them. So where did you get all this technology? If you don't mind me asking. You would be surprised what a construction worker can do with a few sympathetic individuals and uh, seven or eight months to prepare. The captain, the amount of dissatisfaction with the leadership on both sides is palpable. If you spent any time amongst the citizenry of either side, you would realize that. I'm trying. I actually, <laughs> I have, hmm. and I know your emperor isn't exactly right in the head, hmm. <laughs> but it's really not a way to do it. He pauses. He shrugs. Maybe not, but simple. Drastic, drastic change requires drastic measures, Captain. 
and he puts his hands out, um, fully accepting cuffs that are magically produced and slapped upon them. Uh, Demo says you head back in there, you come upon roughly uh, 47 individuals. Um, most of them are wearing Starfleet uniforms that have been that have accumulated several days worth of grit and grime. Uh, two individuals who are non-Starfleet, uh, who match the description of the diplomats that were supposed to come for the Shobad Ne uh, introduction to the Federation. They first react with uh, seeing you with a bit of shock and terror. Then they realize... Yeah, you're not shooting them. You're not Vitars. Oh, you're probably this Demos chap they've heard about. So I open fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think about that. Sending Demos to go rescue terrified hostages. Yeah. yeah. Uh, most of them oh. are Starfleet officers who have been working adjacent to Cerberus Station, so they know of him. I'll just look at them. And uh, I'm assuming I have a bunch of those little translators too. Yes. That doesn't work down here, though. Or unless they do work now that the field has been shut off. No, that's so we'll a. Them up. No, that's the. Um, that's a environmental complication. Okay. Yeah, have to get up at least to level two. Yeah, so I'm just going to hand them like these will kick in once you get within range. Hang on to them; they'll beam you at the moment you're within contact. Anyone injured? Anyone that need to be carried? A couple individuals with some broken bones that they picked up in their first escaped attempt. Uh, they're in slings and, you know, rudimentary casts they've been taken care of, but uh, you haven't seen anything close to a uh, bone regrowth or a bone re-knitter. So, okay, but yeah. they can walk? They can walk. They have crutches or can support each other. Okay. I'll uh, I'll make sure to keep an eye on them and help them if they need it, All as right. I uh, escort everyone out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we get to the complication. So the um, attempt to damage the or overlook uh, attempt to jam the communications has once again uh, also jammed up the power flow to this whole bloody place including the single containment system for the Brom for the uh, quantum singularity mm. um uh, more Nia and Hadrix you notice a single red light beginning to flash that is apparently what amounts to a warning system in this hodgepodge of a setup uh guys we need to go. Do you guys see this Twinkie? If you, if this Twinkie... Captain! <laughs> no, sorry. Ghostbusters, you know, the whole explosion. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay. I appreciate hey. it. Hey, I thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, anyway, all right. Let's round everybody up and get the hell out of here because this so, is going to blow. So this is going to be the final... Uh, this is going to be an extended task. Uh, by your calculation, you have approximately five tests in order to get as many people out as possible. Um, you basically just have to get. So the the yeah how this is how this works is the further away from the third floor you are, the easier it is to evac. So some will start beaming away the second you get to the second floor, but it's still going to take time for the tra uh, the transporters to you know recalibrate and beam etc etc so basically you guys are yeah let's just see how well we do uh so various tasks could be um uh various command tasks to organize um assist uh formulate keep people calm that sort of thing uh security tests to do similar but with maybe a little bit more force uh, engineering and science, if you want to somehow stay behind and try to stabilize everything before it goes or, you know, if you come up with other ideas that seem like they would work, you know, let me know. Uh, but this is going to be a uh, work track of 16, uh, difficulty of 4, there will be a resistance of 4, and this will be a mag of 3. Hey, so, um... Off the top of my head, I think Nia and I should try to stabilize it while we give everyone a chance to get out. 
mean, yeah. we can try it. Yeah. Yep. Because if yeah. we can buy time to get everyone up the at least one floor to start beaming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I know at one point, I mean, basically, Hadrix would be trying to use his composure to kind of try to get everybody started moving up and out as fast yeah. as we can. Yeah, that's mine too. Uh, you know, daring command and diplomacy or whatever okay. i'm gonna okay so let's see what happens with the science guys first so probably nia takes the lead and probably can assist but uh, before we do that mm-hmm. i think i want to challenge a value oh which one? Oh. um i'm thinking there's always something new to discover okay and how are you challenging it um, well, I want to challenge it sp- simply to activate the talent, but um, oh. specific because I have the talent of spirit to dis- of discovery, I can just burn a determination to get to give us three momentum. Ah, okay. Um, so you are racking your brain trying to find something down here, and all of a sudden you just give up. And is that how you're flavoring it? Yeah. Or the many, pr- or I also have many perspectives, more knowledge. You know, we're mm-hmm. also kind of squashing a, a resist right. a terrorist but it's also you know they're an ideology nevertheless yeah okay so you quash yep so challenge that value so cross it out you'll have to come up with a new one you know slightly similar but you know to reflect the reason you challenged it afterwards but okay you have a determination all right and then yep i'm going to immediately turn around and activate it for spirit of discovery so okay. when you just to add, when you spend one determination uh, to add three points to the group momentum pool. Cool. Okay, so you have three momentum and engineer guys get to go first. Yeah. And you said this was daring engineering? Daring engineering and more can assist with daring engineering or daring science. Okay. And um, difficulty four. Is this thing hardwired or is it like... It's all hardwired. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> Oh, no, there, there, are, there are computer systems, so you can't hack it, but, you know. So can can I attempt to hack it with my first thing, or is yeah. it just... You can try. Hell yeah, I want to hack it. <laughs> uh, so that so that brings it down to a difficulty three. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm all tapped out on value, so I can't really do determination. Um... It just gave us three momentum. Yep, that is true. Um, okay. Um, you mind if I take both, like all of them for four dice? That's why I did it. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> Daring engineering, four d twenty. Yes, I have a focus. Nice. That's uh. Oh. So you get two momentum. Uh, six successes total. Uh, if so, if you could please roll me seven, seven challenge dice, please. Can do. Uh, let me. Oh, there's two. There's four resistance. We yeah. have to. Yeah. So let's uh, shave off a resistance as one of that momentum. Okay. And that takes care. And uh, re-roll those three zeros with the other. Gotcha. All right, so now it's resistance two. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So now, do any of you have talents or anything that affect extended tasks? I uh, have Miracle Worker. <laughs> okay, which does? Uh, so if I roll an effect on my work dice, which I have, yep. uh, when we would achieve a breakthrough, we achieve an additional one. Ooh. So we get two breakthroughs. Interesting. So you have that, so you can achieve two breakthroughs. Also, nice. Also, I should play fair since this is a hacking thing. That zero is a complication. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the compli- well, we'll deal with the complication momentarily. So that is a grand total of seven work done on a resistance two. So that's five. So that's enough for a breakthrough. So you get two. Uh, yes, so sir. That is going to bump the uh, work track down to uh, eleven. Uh, difficulty, difficulty will now be two, and this will be now a magnitude one task. 
So, uh, what happens now is that you have managed to buy yourself a little bit more time. So instead of a five, so basically this tick counted for nothing, but that's the only time that will happen. Mm -hmm. um, everyone is able to at least make it to the base of the stairs. Um, with the pro with uh, several individuals having to be literally carried by other more um, able-bodied individuals, it's not a fun process. Uh, Nia and Moore are sweating bullets. Uh, Hadrix is attempting to remain calm. Whether or not he's doing so is up to him. Um, totally calm. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so, put, yes. put me down farther if you could. Oh. I, I'm staying a little farther behind everybody to make sure everybody gets out. Okay. Uh, let's close turn order. Done. Okay. There um, Captain, you're... Then... You have a you have a an individual one of the Starfleet officers you're supporting and carrying them just because I think that's very captainy of you. But you are the last one out. Uh, I like to think. Yep. I like to think Damus has like one person hanging off his neck. He's holding one in each arm. Oh, probably. <laughs> as long as Helsing has as, as long as Helsing has Krager, that's all I care. <laughs> right by him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, that is one tick as you guys all get to the base of the stairs. Next up is going to be a command type test to hey. get everyone, or commander security, to get everyone up these slightly awkward stairs in a reasonable fashion. Uh, so if someone wants to do a presence command or a presence security or... I got, I got my command as a slippery slope. Um... So I am going to be. I'm going to take that as my uh, to use my determination. Okay. I'm going to use presence, command, and uh, someone can assist. So either had I can or, assist. Okay. Or Sunbay. Yep. Go Sunbay. Yeah. With uh, present security. Uh yeah. Present security. <clears throat> okay. That's one success. You need two. Well, to determine the. Oh, things. you spent your that's determination. Three. Right. Yep, that's three. Yep, yep, three. And Helsing just knocks it out of the park with five total. So you guys get three momentum. Uh, so, Captain, can you please roll me seven challenge dice? Ooh. Nice. Okay. Do you have anything that affects. Um, uh, extended tasks? No. No? Okay. So, uh, um, burn, I, burn at least two to get uh, through the four resistance. Yeah. That's it. Uh, burn at least one momentum to get through two resistance so that we still get the breakthrough. Yeah. Okay. So you're burning one momentum? One momentum to get through two resistance, so it's still a resistance two, but we still have five, so it gets the work track. Nice. Okay, so that was 11 minus 5 is 6. We are now down to a difficulty of 1. And this is now mag 0. Okay, that is the first actual tick. Um, Moore and Nia, you guys look at each other and realize it's time to go. You've done all you can, but this, the failures are just going to keep cascading. You've confused the computer enough, but... Yeah... Um, the, uh, as the first party reaches the second floor, uh, the first party of s six, um, well, the first thing that comes out is, uh, Helsing, your calm lights up. Um, Captain, we're seeing a significant power increase on the station. Uh, they attempted to beam a wide beam transmission, but that was stopped early on. Is everything okay, Captain? Start beaming them. Start beaming out the um, the hostages, the prisoners, and then the uh, way team. Understood. Send ready. Send out the ready one, the shuttle, and have it start using its transporters as well. Acknowledged. Deploying immediately. And as they reach the top of the stairs for the first section of at uh, the second floor, the first of the party. Or the first of the hostages begin to dissolve into thin air. 
This caused a slight bit of disorientation among everyone left behind, but then they realize, oh wait, that's a good thing. And they keep pushing through. Now we're on the second floor. Now, once again, I'm going to turn off Fog of War because that part of the story is done. <clears throat> so, that's just there. It's easier that way. Uh, as you make your way up through the second uh, series of uh, the second thing, I am going to cause another complication, because you guys have given me so much threat, it'd be a crime not to use some of it, uh, that the power surges are beginning to disrupt this cloning facility, uh, causing things to boil, bubble, and uh, make it very difficult for you to make it through, or for most people to make it through without suffering at least some uh, points of damage. Uh, some of the hostages can are probably fit enough to, you know, hot foot it across and suffer some burns on their feet. Some can be carried, of course. Uh, however, uh, this is going to increase, or I'm going to increase the complication range of this next task, uh, 17 to 20. Oh, this is a fitness task, isn't it? Yeah, if it's going to be a fitness or some sort of security, or if you can come up with a way to you know, get rid of some of this boiling fluid quickly enough, that would work too. How about using the phaser uh, kind of like wide beam to kind of try to evaporate the, laser, uh, the liquid? Okay, I was thinking. Sure. Okay. Um, this will be a daring security chest from someone who has a type 3 or type 2 phaser. <clears throat> I have a type 3. Hadrix has a type 3. All right. Uh, I'm healthy. And healthy as a type three. Yep. yep. Uh, I, I can assist. I'm only shooting an eleven. I'm shooting a thirteen for well, control security or daring security. Uh, daring because you don't have time to think. Uh, Demos, what do you got? I'm shooting eleven. Uh, for uh, daring security combined, I got a sixteen. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm at a fifteen. So Helsinger, Demos, take the lead. Demos, you got a, a value you could pop to? Uh, I think uh, he's used his determination. Okay, I, I have my determination <laughs> still. Oh, then, uh, uh, yeah, no one will stand between me and those I am to protect. I can do that one again. Mm -hmm. Have you um, have you actually not tapped? Because I know you tapped a milestone previously. Mm -hmm. Um. That was then, for making the uh, shield arm thing. Yep, and then you spent it to punch a hole through the door. And then I spent my determination to yeah. do something, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you don't have an active determination, I'm afraid. Unless <coughs> you can challenge a value. Well, I have my determination. Captain. Yeah, because he's a captain. Oh. Yeah, Commander, I suppose like captain, captain could do it. Yeah. Captain already used his, didn't he? Yeah, Captain can. I... Yeah. Yeah, Captain well, used no. his... Helsing's a captain of his own ship. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah. Helsing would cap count as captain. So yeah, he's acting captain as a Demos. Yeah. Do a good job here. Yes. Take yeah. my determination. Right now I realize what you're <laughs> trying to tell me, and I was just blustering through it. It's getting late. We're almost out of here. Okay. <laughs> uh, so who am I shooting? <laughs> Uh, you are shooting the giant wave of amniotic, of bubbling amniotic fluid, to try to part it like Moses, or oh. whichever similar Greek hero is in uh, the Exos history. Pretty much all of them. Yeah, pretty much. I'm we sure just never got conquered by, we just never got conquered by Rome, and yeah. so we just kept expanding. <laughs> There's a whole thing for it. Um, okay. I guess I could use the arm shield to uh, kind of like push through. Sure. Yeah, that would work too. So, so. Darren security? Oh, security. Full Reinhardt. Full Reinhardt. Just charge yeah. through with yeah, the shield. Yeah, that'll do. Sure. Daring security, please. And I suppose one person can assist if they wish. Yeah, I got uh, the assist. Okay. I'll snag an extra momentum there for the third dice. 
and uh, force fields. I have a focus. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, yeah. are you, you're burn, burning determination. Oh yeah. So yes, so it'd I'll be burn two, it. Yeah, that'd be the two dice. Two. Yeah. Moment for the third dice. Okay. Uh, so five oh, successes yes, yes. total. And complication. another complication. Wow. It was uh, what was the difficulty? Uh, difficulty of two. I'm so, just going to give you two thread for that. I'm just going to pay it off. I don't know. I kind of want to use a complication here. But um, then again, I don't really know what to use the complication for. But yeah, just have the thread. Just have the, th just have the thread. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Then you can make up whatever kind of complication you want. <laughs> uh, actually, no. I'm going to use the complication. Um, the amniotic fluid trickles de uh, by forcing it away. It's now trickling into the power systems, causing the, you know, you now only have one tick to go. And you've beamed out about, if you can make it to the first floor, you're golden. Um, so more and more of you are going away this time the diplomats are marked top priority and are forcibly ejected or forcibly transported the prisoners are also slowly going away uh helsing you're busy pushing cager in front of you and all of a sudden you're pushing thin air as he is out uh, several hostages still around but the wounded were gone now it's just the fit ones left so let's do um well, who wants to figure out how this ends? This could be a security, um, presence command, daring command, daring security. Presence, because I'm still, I'm the last one, so yeah. I'm like I said, I'm making him go. Mm -hmm. Presence. Well, does Demos roll? Challenge dice. Challenge yeah. dice. Um, no, not. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes, he should. This is an extended okay, task. I apologize. Uh, hmm, Demos, I was wondering. Yeah, sorry. Roll challenge dice. Because it's possible you could actually beat it now. I'm, I'm just bending the rules. Uh, how many? Uh, this is seven. Seven. Uh, yep, seven, please. Ooh. Okay. Um, I say we burn through two of the momentum we have to get rid of the resistance and win the work track. Yeah. Sure. Amen. Down to that. All right. Okay. Uh, so negate everything I just said approximately two minutes ago. Uh, you guys make your way up the um, staircase up to the first floor. Uh, there is a muffled explosion down below, and you all feel slightly heavier. Um, even Demos, heavier than normal. Uh, as you feel yourselves sort of beginning to stretch and pull as a miniature black hole forms, the last of you, you feel the, ten, uh, the merciful tingling of the transporter beam. As you, the rest of you dematerialize and materialize back on the USS Black Shield. The transporter room is not meant to handle 50 plus individuals. Heck, the ship, it really isn't. People are just being brought on board and shoved wherever they could fit. Um, it's That targeting range is now no longer a thing. Uh, it's been converted into a temporary refugee and you know trauma center dr feliza is very busy alongside dr yates and any crew member that can hold a um, simple medical tool has been drafted to assist there is a round of applause as the last of you are brought on board well done everybody isn't Get us out of here. With pleasure, Captain. As you, uh, as we cut to a cinematic shot of the wreck uh, folding in on itself like a paper ball and forming into nothing. Well, Captain Bashir, it's always good seeing you. I wish you could just we gotta stop meeting like this uh, Bashir, come on board to say yeah i said i have romulan ale and this excellent whale that you should try whales we'll, cele we'll celebrate on the concordia sounds good uh, yeah okay. i've installed a disco ball i give him a wink <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
as um, you are uh, on the way back, uh, Captain Helsing, you're approached by um, uh, Lieutenant Abrell. Captain, I am well aware that the of Starfleet Intelligence's mandate of us uh, freely associating with regular Starfleet officers on our off time. However, given the circumstances, and she can't help but give uh, Com Commander Hadricks a bit of an eye. Just this once, Captain, I think uh, some intermingling might be a good idea for the crew. Uh, chicken wire wire. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> uh, she smiles, turns around in her seat, and says, Thank you, sir. I'll inform the crew. Uh, and um, that is pretty much where I have run out of plot. Does anyone have anything else they'd like to do before they get back to the Concordia or while they're on the Concordia briefly? Like I said, we'll have a nice little dinner, and I'll serve him our wonderful space whale, and ah, we'll yes. get drunk and talk about the uh, our former captain and where they're at and everybody yeah. else. And you can end scene because <laughs> it's one thirty. Yeah, it's been a long session. I'm glad I started a little early. Um, right. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to do? I'm not here, no. 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 Okay, in which case, thank you all very much for playing. Thank you so much for coming in, uh, coming on board with us for an episode, uh, Sunbay. It's been a pleasure having you back. My pleasure. I enjoyed uh, it immensely. Yes, as usual. Thank you all very much for playing. Thank you all very much for watching. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Later. Merry Christmas. <laughs>